Well. Yeah. Evidently you did. <laughs> oh no, that went um primal. Well, let's get back into uh, the session. Does uh, anybody want to give me a recap of what happened last time on Lost Minds of Fandelver? Mm, so many fucking really. mosquitoes. So many mosquitoes. We, yeah. we traveled. We traveled to the the Lost Mine location. Uh -huh. Sister Sister Gabrielle joined in along with uh, Sildar. Um, right? No. No, Sildar didn't come with us. It no, was Gundren. Gundren, Gundren, yeah. Um, we got to the cave, and through a little bit of exploring, we found some evidence of some Gundren family. Um, Having been splattered. And we went off a little tiny precipice and wandered a little bit and <laughs> met Jumanji level mosquitoes. <laughs> um, and I think a couple of our clothies were close to death. <laughs> and um, we dispatched all of them as far as we know right now. Um, didn't we also see like a, a fog or a sound? We heard a sound or something that was yeah. something that we all um, heard is fog creepy. Well, the uh, name of the Wave Echo Cave is very uh, appropriate because throughout the entire uh, cave, you can hear what sounds like uh, the ocean. Uh, yeah. There's a big old body of water in there with a current. For some reason. But yeah. I'm taking a dip. So, that's pretty much a concise recap. Uh, basically, uh, you got, like, like you said, you made it to the Wave Echo Cave. Um, started your expl exploration of it. Uh... <clears throat> And uh, ran into a wonderful group of Sturges. And that is where we returned to just after uh, the combat with the Sturges has ended. Yeah, I crit those fuckers like three times in a row. Yes. The, <laughs> the clap. Kudos to Burdane. Fist and Sturges. Well, with the uh, areas in front of you, what would you guys like to do? Lunk, can I see that map? I'll hand it over to you. All right. I think, as I was trying to say before, we should go north and try to head to that chamber from the northern side, so the southern, so we can avoid the fungus. Does, does anyone need healing? I'm good. No, I'm fine. Uh-uh. I didn't hear what you said, Kaylee. I'm good. Okay. All right, well, let me know. I have these healing kits. I'm pretty good at using them. I can, can shore up some wounds if need be. Hey, noted. Uh, north it is. Okay. Let's, uh, maybe keep an eye out for, uh, things above us, as well as below. Below? As, as in on the ground. I apologize. Um, oh. can I take the, the the lit rock from Lunk as well? Sure thing. For the purposes of this, we'll say that Valera and Lunk are still there, just kind of zoned out. Okay. Mm. I can't see anything beyond this point. Yeah, there's like a 
Well, let me give you the light then. Because Lunk has the light. Go, uh, dark vision. Don't go to the light. Not all of us have special eyes. How's that? Better. Better. Well, Bibi, lead the way. Just keep uh, headed straight, I suppose. All right. Uh, straight, and then take a right at the end of the hole. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh. I'm fast as fuck. Hmm. All right. Straight. Could we go left if we wanted to. You want to go straight? Uh, hold on, let me look at the map one more second. You remember seeing uh, the, uh, <clears throat> from your locate object, um, trying to find Numo? You remember, uh, it being further east. Yeah, yeah, I was just looking at that. Um, actually, let's go right, and then we're gonna go all the way right until we can't anymore. I'm gonna put on my goggles so I have 120 feet of dark vision. Oh shit. Okay. Quick. Edit it on the fly, DM. <laughs> hmm. There's a door. There we go. That's, uh, that doesn't lead anywhere. According to this map. You're not curious? How trustworthy is the map, though? I feel like we're here for a reason. Um, and we can explore later, but I'd like to uh, find Numo if we can first. If you'd like to detour, then you're welcome to. What what type of door is it, Kyle? The one in the north? The one it's in the north one. is a large uh, wooden door. Can I go up and kind of like listen like through it to see if I hear anything? Yeah, make me. Uh, it looks perception check. Sorry, it looks like it's just a, a room with bunks in it. Uh, I don't hear, I don't hear anything. Maybe, maybe it's the sleeping quarters. But can we, can we maybe bar the door? Or if it's, if it's got bunks in it, maybe it's got reinforcements, enemy reinforcements. We wouldn't want them to be behind us, right? Well, there's another uh, door that leads out of there as well. This isn't the only entrance. Um, but... Nidus and uh, Verdane, as you're uh, standing there, kind of just at, or listening in on the conversation, you can hear um, coming from that northern doorway what sounds like crunching. Almost like either something or two or or something very hard is being rubbed and ground into a powder or something's being almost like chewed on. Garel, you didn't catch that? Garel was too distracted with the uh, lovely sounds of the ocean. Ladies. Did I hear? Did I not hear anything? Focusing on the map. Yeah, I heard that. Kind of wish I didn't. Well, either way, I, I think we should keep moving. The longer we stay still, the more chances of things happening upon us. Well, now I want to know what that grinding sound is. What grinding sound? Sorry, that's a grinding sound coming from that door. Are we sure we want to? You know what? Fuck it. Yeah, let's do it. Better to keep, uh, take care of a threat now than later. Ah, <sighs> curiosity killed the cat and all. And you're right, we don't want it sneaking up on us later. Damn right. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe it's your friend Numo. Plus, we don't know where Gundren's other brothers are. They could still be in trouble. Well, let's find out. I'm going to step up to the door and I want to try and kick it in. Okay. Um, Subtlety's not the strongest suit, I see. Give me a, uh... Just... What's your strength at? Uh, I have a 20. Oh! Okay. Yeah, you'd definitely be able to 
pass that DC pretty easily. Uh, so let me adjust the lighting and get rid of this doorway. Yeah. As you sure. uh, kick the door in, oh, you see back. three figures. Ah, there's Lunk. Wow. I'm glad you made it, sir. I was just going to narrate the door or the door that Burdain just kicked in. So, as you kick in this door, Burdain, you see uh, old stone bunks and orderly uh, rows line the walls uh, of this chamber, and a corroded iron brazier full of old coal stairs, or stands near the center of the room. You can very quickly uh, see that there are uh, bones of maybe a half dozen dwarves and orcs that lie strewn about and clad in scraps and armor. Three gray hunched figures squat among the remains, pawing at the scraps and gnawing on the bones, and all three of them quickly turn their head to face you with these beady, uh, kind of uh, almost translucent green eyes. Uh, <clears throat> and as one of them with a little bit of flesh that's still hanging on the bone uh, in its mouth. It just kind of uh, it pulls the uh, rotten, uh, decaying flesh out of his mouth and just kind of hisses uh, as it stands up in unison with the other three. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Is that... I'm uh, giving you a chance to. Uh, what would you like to do? <laughs> okay, close the door. <laughs> uh, you kicked it open, so it's all the way across, like in the wall. So you'd have to like step in and then. Yeah, yeah. no, no. I, I was like, I can't close it because kick the shit out of it. Um, I guess I'll just take a step inside. Okay, as you take Got a. It meet their gaze as you take a step in this one takes a tentative step forward as well uh ooh. damn sister Burrell went AFK <laughs> just when we need her uh. Uh, so what what the hell are these things well could I make a check or can Most I see in there? you can see in there with your light. Most of you have seen these things before, and you would recognize them as uh, uh, decrepit uh, uh. humanoids that have gone past, or ju that lie just between life and unlife. Um, I just loaded in. Do. Um, would from where I'm standing, would I be able to see what Bernane saw, essentially? Yeah, it, it'd be a little awkward with, uh, you would be able to see it. Um, there is a bit of a glare, um, off of the eyeballs that, because, uh, Storm had, or did take the, uh, shiny rock from you, or the, the lit rock, uh, yeah. So she has it now in front of you, but yes, you are able to see in, um, and Bernane, as you're kind of just looking, uh, and... In observing these creatures, the one up front leaps over the uh, brazier in the front, or uh, the brazier in the front, Brazier's and brazier, yeah, the boobs, brawl. Uh, the corpse is aggressive. And uh, with this long, lashing tongue that just kind of slithers out of its mm. mouth, it it lets out this weird, gurgly hiss. And that's where I'll need initiative from everyone. No. Yes, John. Exactly. Oh, sorry. I keyed in. I was ground. making out with my wife. My bad. Ew. Three back into the ground. Delightful. Big money. Big money. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Biggish money. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to do too much this fight, guys, because uh, I had to use two big spells for the lesser restoration on our diseases last time. I'm out of second level spells as well. Okay. 
So, good luck, friends. <laughs> I'm here to spare the dying, though, so... Time for Redeem to shine. Monk is also out of second-level spells. Aha! Uh. <laughs> Does everyone have their initiative in? Yes, sir. All um, right, I think the I'd like to reroll mine because this game hacks. Uh, oh. I confirm. I confirm this game hacks. Go ahead. <laughs> I, I second Everyone that. else got sweet rolls, and I got a fucking four. I hate it here. <laughs> God damn it! Are you serious? That's part of the legal process. We have a quorum, so uh, I, I second that uh, lunk statement. The what? He proposed something. I seconded it, so it gets. I'm just about present. Present. Yeah. Present. Balake. Denice. Okay. Sorry. Uh, let me switch to the map. Here we go. Uh, no worries. Man. You were just about to say let Lunk can reroll his initiative? Um, no. His dice rolled off the table. Yeah, I saw it. There we go. Well, luckily the Valera uh, rolled a natural twenty on her uh, initiative, and so let me get the character sheet up. There we go. Bonus action is going to use uh, Bardic Inspiration on uh, Verdane. So go ahead, Let's add your. Inspired. Yay. I'm inspired. Yes, you're inspired. You can do it, BB. That's what she'd say. <laughs> oh. That's and exactly then what she'd say. Vicious mockery on the closest one that she can see. 60 feet. Yeah, that's good. And, All and right. you are just rude. That's what she'd say for the vicious mockery. I'm I'm RPing as Valera. Well, you're, I appreciate it. Cause, I'm, uh, I'm RPing as Grave playing Valera. Working on my hiccups. <laughs> That's what you really need is those hiccups. Yeah. Ooh. RPing is grave. RPing is Valera. You gotta have the hiccups. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. I love it here. Oh yeah. I love it here. <laughs> Alright. So what there's that. And then now has disadvantage because he failed nice okay disadvantage on the yes. next attack which that may yeah. it's his attack which that will move him up to Burdane. disadvantage Ooh, even with disadvantage that's a 15 to hit 15 misses ah and okay if possible could i use my repost maneuver Ooh, sure uh, as long as you say bitch when you do it. So whenever a creature misses me with a melee attack, I can use my reaction to expend a superiority dice to make a melee attack against the creature. Yes. Cool. We will burn a superiority dice uh, with my greatsword. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, yeah. That's a, that's a 25. <laughs> you, you might hit him, Eric. You might hit him. Yeah. 25 hit? Uh, 25 does not hit. It does hit. Oh, damn. <laughs> okay. These some tough-ass ghouls. Yeah, Shit. that's how we just walk out of this encounter. Goodbye. <laughs> that's 2d6 and a single d8. Oh, my God. Obliterated. Ooh. Missed. Uh, yeah, so you bring your greatsword down as it steps up, um, and... It slashes at you with uh, a claw uh, missing, and you bring your uh, greatsword across its chest, and you cleave its arm completely off that it just clawed yeah. at you with, and leave this huge gash down the middle of its torso, and causing some of its innards to kind of spill out on the floor. But he is going to use that long tongue of his to uh, lash out at you towards oh, yeah. your feet. Um, oh, and, not my dogs. Oh, no. Um... 
Does a seven hit? Oh, a seven. I thought you were going to say 17. No, a seven does not hit. Okay, so this tongue kind of lashes downwards and attempts to wrap around your feet and just kind of pick your foot up real quick and it has no effect. Nidus. So yeah, I'm going to do the obvious thing since it's still alive. I'm just going to try a foot over and blow its brains out. Please don't shoot me in the back of the head. <laughs> I started blasting. I'm blowing someone's brains out. Yours or its. You decide. <laughs> Fuck you. Yours. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, the sad part about this, night is an 11 still hits. There's no noticeable armor on them, and most of their or their movements are kind of quick, but not quick enough to dodge your bullet. Quick enough to dodge its way to hell. Blam. <laughs> Double elevens. Yeah. Um, where are you aiming, sir? Skull. Yeah. The head. Well, it no longer has one, and the lifeless corpse just kind of slumps in front of Burdain. You. Thumbs up, Nidus. It's one of the creepy crawlies done. <laughs> That's all I'll do. Okay. <laughs> Verdane. My turn. This is where being a dwarf sucks. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. <laughs> <laughs> at least you get 25 in 5e. Uh, I think didn't it's because of your boots. Didn't you put on those <gasps> boots? I don't know if they're attuned to me, though. I thought those boots didn't have to be attuned. They do. Um, they're under yeah. Why yeah. wouldn't you attune it, bro? What are you doing? Because it takes like... It takes an hour to yeah, attune but... minor, minor items like that. We didn't have an hour. So you just find them? Yeah, yeah. we did. Yeah, we did. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, they were a gift. Ah, oh, I gotcha. Yeah. A gift well, from the dead. Gundren handed them to him from his dead brother. Damn, that's unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, burr, 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 burr. Could I use the dodge action. So until the start of my next turn, any yeah. attack roll against me has disadvantage? Yeah, you okay. can. I'm imagining Ordain just like coming up to the school and going, hua, 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 hua. <laughs> You can't hit me now, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anything for a bonus? Just juking uh, no. this guy out left okay. and right, breaking his ankles. Well... <laughs> This uh, ghoul in the back is going to let a uh, frothy hiss uh, escape its mouth uh, and uh, its tongue is going to kind of slither out um, and it's going to dart forward 40 feet oh. and pounce on Nidus. I could you not. So... Oh, um, 24? Oh, yeah, 24 is a hit. Okay, so that is going to be... 10 points of, uh, slashing damage, and I'll need a, uh... We'll need a, con a contested athletics check to see if you are knocked prone. Gosh, that's so much... <laughs> <laughs> you are not knocked prone. Got it. That was luck. <laughs> and that'll be the end of its turn, Sister Gorel. So if it's me, right? It's literally me. I don't know why I love that gift for that. <laughs> um. Can I attack that ghoul from here? From that corner? Yeah. Uh, it gives it 
partial cover, so it'll be just a minor upgrade to its AC. Abysmal AC. Let's do. I can see into the room though, like what my vision sees. I can see. Yeah. All right. So I am going to up a little. I'm gonna cast spiritual weapon. Okay. I'm gonna place it right, like, to the side of the school. Here. All right. And a six does not hit. Yeah, I don't know why I rolled that, but yeah. So I'll spawn it there, and then obviously, I guess I'll attack with it. I will miss. Did you intend uh, to attack with it? No, I just clicked cast, and it automatically did it. But that's fine. Okay. Um, that's a bonus. Yeah. You have a higher dex than me? I only have plus three. I have a higher dex, but it's okay. Okay, so the bonus action includes the, the attack anyways. That's why I did that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, and then for a main... Attack, I guess. Main thing. I will toll the dead. This guy. Okay. Yeah. I thought, does that work on undead? Mm hmm. Ring is, sure. ring is fucking bell. <laughs> I believe it works on anything that's taken damage. Like, just yeah. anything. Yeah. No, it works well, on anything, period, party. but. I don't know why I thought I didn't work on him. I was just trying to figure out what I'm going to do, because I'm like, oh, I can't toll the dead. So, DC 12, Wisdom. Okay. And if it fails it, it takes seven points of damage. Okay. Got it. Anything else? That should be it. All right. Can you put, can you put like, a token? Or I guess I can draw something. That's my spiritual weapon. Nah, here's your spiritual weapon. <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, oh. Big Chungus? <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Yeah. That's familiar. Alright, so starting on next uh, round, we'll have Storm go first. because of it. No, it's, it's fine. You can do it however. But yeah, That's Storm, go ahead. Um... So you said I could attack from this square, right? Yeah. I'll go here and I'll take up my rapier and make an attack. All right. I think my ability modifier changed. Let me look. Fourteen. Fourteen just hits, with the, even with the or even with the uh, added cover boost. Okay, and that is... Oh, shit. Uh, 12 points of damage. I rolled max on that. Ooh. Okay. Oh, I get sneak attack, too. Plus an extra 4 from sneak attack. Or, let's see... Engaged with another of your ally, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, uh... 16 total. That's enough. Oh. So you just poke around the... Or... <clears throat> as Nidus is stepping back to avoid the, uh... Avoid the ghoul lashing out at him, Storm, uh, steps up and kind of sticks... Or sticks out her rapier and the ghoul just kind of... Falls in a, like, open mouth onto the rapier, and it goes through the back of its <laughs> neck. Storm grins over at Nidus. Need some help? Uh, every now and then. Well, this one here steps up to oh. 
the Birdie Dane. With Fuck you. Two, uh, you took the dodge action, so two attacks at disadvantage. Oh, eight. I'm rolling different dice. Okay. You're looking for a 16. Six. But he still gets his tongue! Uh, 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 14. Disgusting. Yep, so, no hits. Damn. Okay. Maybe next time. Lunk. <clears throat> All right. I am going to move here. <clears throat> And then, um, I guess I can only make it there with a dash. Um, I will pull out my uh, javelin and throw it. Okay. Oop. 21 to hit. 21 hits. One is four piercing, but. Okay. Good enough. Then... Uh, no, I don't want to waste that. <laughs> that will end my turn there, sir. I was hoping for more damage, but eh, what are you going to do? Roll the one. Valera is going to... Uh... Step up closer to Storm, Nidus, and uh, Sister Garel, and uh, say, Um, guys, we got company behind us. And oh. Garel would be the only one that could actually, or, well, you and Nidus would be able to see the gelatinous, weird con or creature that is just kind of slopping towards you um it's it seems to be like a big pool of earwax what? here let me character sheet first myself there we go made it nice and then let's go here there and there Oh, uh, wax. Ochre jelly. I love jelly. Gross. Never had ochre before, though. Okra socks. No, oh, you're wrong. Not if you cook it right. I like fuzzy? Vegetable. Why do you want to eat a fuzzy vegetable? <clears throat> you just you fucking cook it. You dumb? It does Ooh, fuzz on there. We turn baby batter into real life stuff. People eat peaches and they have fuzz on them. For I need you to redact your statement immediately, John. <laughs> it's it's Burdane's boneless children coming to help. Wrong. <laughs> well, as it approaches, uh, it kind of uh, it latches onto the southern wall here um, and begins crawling along the wall sideways and with two almost lightning flash or lightning fast uh, movements you can see these um, or ten, or uh, these gelatinous tendrils that lash out both towards Sister Gorel and uh, Valera bye boys uh, oh, Sister Gorel that is going to be a 19 and Valera is a 16 which it hits these wounds, I will not Look out! That is going to be 11 points to both of you. Here is how I fall. You're killing them. That ghoul is dead, Nightus. I'm gonna... Step over... Here. Draw the, uh... 
Draw the uh, scary shotgun. <laughs> put, bullet, put bullets into jello. See how that works out for you. And I'll be honest, I didn't even bother making a uh, a damage thing for it. I think it's the exact same damage as a revolver, isn't it? Yeah. yeah uh, it's It should be slightly different. No, it is, yeah. But it should, like, once you have it equipped, like, if you clip or equip it in your inventory, it should show up in your actions. Guess it should. Let me see. Oh, yeah, there it is. Has a less of a misfire chance, but the same damage? It's the exact same, just has less range. Yeah. And it has a special property. Yeah, I'm gonna frighten the uh, the ochre as I shoot it. Is it frightened? Big boom spook. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, eleven is going to hit. Is it frightened? Let's see. And what we what did we have the uh, DC set to? Uh, let me see. Even says. I think it's your spell DC. My spell DC. Shit. 14. Okay. So, uh. Valera, the Ochre, Sister Gorel, and Storm. All of you make a, uh. This would be a charisma, or is it wisdom? Should have it written down somewhere. What are you trying to do? It's a oh, fear effect against everyone. Yeah, oh, so shit. it's charisma. Anyone oh. in 15 feet, whenever this thing fu is fired, it gets. Uh... I rolled a nat 20. Hey, so did I. Huh, so did Valera. <laughs> hey, me too. Can't see it. Okay, so you guys, or all of you, are safe. Uh, you hear this loud uh, explosion go off uh, behind you, and you hear, the, or see, turn to f find Nidus holding a uh, different weapon than he normally does with smoke kind of billowing out of it. However, let's see. Oh. Well, uh, this creature <clears throat> shows no visible signs of being frightened. Yeah, I didn't think I'd actually be able to scare some slime. But, anything else for you, Nidus? Um, uh, nah, that's it. Alright. Birdane! Me. I want to hit this ghoul. Okay, try to hit it. Really hard. Sword time. Punch the javelin further into it. Sword time. Nice. Sword time. Ooh. Oh, Damn shit. Time. Okay. Not bad. Damn, dude. <laughs> you haven't rolled anything less than like a 25. But Dane is good character. Numbers on a piece of paper is good. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. It says Phil Swift. Yeah. That one's dead. Other than that, I won't uh, move and I have no Swift or bonuses. Okay. So, Yuki, quit staring at me. Uh, but yeah, so that will bring us to uh, Sister Gorilla again. Alrighty then. As a bonus action, uh, she is going to move the spiritual weapon. Can't control it, but can you move it down here? This big lumbering figure just stomps through. Wait, what does it look like? <laughs> Well, I don't know what that thing looks like, but the spiritual weapon is <laughs> great-looking sword thing. 
Not that. I like him. That is what your spiritual weapon is. <laughs> 18 hits. Seven points of action damage. Okay. Cutting out some jello. And then as an action, she is going to take out her healer's kit and bandage herself up. <clears throat> okay. Mm. For only six points of damage. Ugh. Well, at least you got healed six points of damage. Sure. Um, and I guess that's it. I can't really afford an attack of opportunity. So I'm just kind of stuck here. All right, Storm. All right, I'm gonna move. There, and I'm going to toll the dead. Okay. Which is a DC 14 wisdom save. Uh, nat 20 minus 2, 18. So he succeeds. Okay. Then that's it. Okay. Cool number, uh, cool number, uh, uh, alive is going to take his, uh, two claws at you, Burdain. Bring it on. That is an 8 and a 20. What was the second number? 20? <clears throat> yeah, that one is. So that is 8 points of damage. And then with that mm. lovely tongue, it's going to once again try to wrap around your leg. Uh, that is going to be a uh, 5 total to wrap around the leg. Can't tongue me. Can't tongue you. Lunk. I got enough tongue lashing from the ex-wife. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. What? Oh my God! Yuki is playing Dungeons and Dragons. What? Whoa! There. Thank you, Yuki. I appreciate it. Wow. What was she playing? Okay. <laughs> I dropped one of my. I dropped one of my acrylic dice, and Yuki picked it up and was, you know, dropping it on the ground. So, She's rolling for initiative. Yeah. She rolled. Uh, she rolled an eight. A wild <laughs> Yuki appears. Still better what's her, than mine. What's, what's her dexterity though? Her dexterity is pretty high. <laughs> I would put that on the level of a a, a broken sc spider monkey character. Um, I'm going to rage and then move up here next to Berdane. Rajay! Okay. And then... A Ooh, 16 hit. will hit. Oh, nice. I put a uh, jacket behind me to... Or in the oh, small the damage of my one back. didn't go through, but 15 damage. Oh, God. Mm. Let's see. Angry sword. Ew. And that's that's not with your rage though, is it? That yeah, that's with my rage. Okay. You create you got a new new link with your rage. Yeah. Good, good, good. Uh so ha a long sword at least. I need to make one for my new uh, hue. So you stepped up or stepped up and watched uh, one claws whiz past Verdane, another one sink into his shoulder, and then the tongue attempted to uh, wrap around his foot, but he stepped out of it. How do you want to do this? Oh shit. Um. Could I do kind of like I I I know it like failed on the like grapple on his uh, leg, but I assume the tongue is still out there. So could I do like a cool like swing down, cut the long-ass tongue in half, and then swing back up and just cut the fucking head clean off. Just so, a simple one-two, you know what I'm saying? Got it. And so with a uh, with surprising agility, you uh, bring your uh, sword down on, uh, on its tongue, and then with a quick redirection of your uh, wrist, you sever its head 
from its body. And it slumps to the floor. Nice. And then I will use the rest of my 15 feet of movement that I have left to... Uh, 10... 15, pretty much move right back where I started. <laughs> the unstoppable duo. <laughs> Honestly. That's us. I'm, I'm just saying, if this if this fight club type thing ever happens, I don't care what characters we're playing when it when it happens, we need to like somehow bring Lunk and Verdan into it. Well, uh, this duo is just ridiculous. Whenever Lunk fights alongside Verdan, he just gets ridiculous <laughs> damage. Valera is going to uh, step behind uh, Vlad, uh, oop, Nidus and uh, yeah, I know right, uh, Nidus and Storm. And then uh, cast Bane on uh, the Ochre Jelly. Let's see. I hope you've got a bleep button for YouTube. Christmas saving throw. Okay. <laughs> so. <laughs> God, this thing has terrible charisma. Um, yeah. So it is Bane. It's slime. I'm surprised it has any charisma. Uh, it has a one. That's it's, that's, too, that's a too minus much. five to the mo for the yeah. modifier. <laughs> I was gonna say I can't remember what the negative is for that, but all right. Well, two uh, tendrils are going to uh, lash out. One again at Sister Garel, and then uh, all the way across the way towards uh, Storm. What? Yeah. What? I'm all over here. It, got reach, dude. It's got long reach. I'm surprised it didn't attack me when I moved. So, uh... I hate fighting slimes. Then now let's see. So 15... I thought Lunk would know, but... <laughs> plus 4 is a 19. 18 to Sister Garel. That's... And then a... 17 to Storm. Hit. So that is going to be six damage to both of you. And then it is going to continue its movement or uh, continue climbing up the walls till it's actually hanging on the ceiling. And uh, part of that weird earwaxy like texture is, or liquid is just dripping down onto the ground. This ghoul is dead. That brings us to Nidus. Oh, well, damn, all right, uh... I guess I'm gonna do the crazy thing and shoot it again. With the, uh, shotgun? Or your revolver this time? Shotgun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, the, that fear effect only procs the first shot. Right? It doesn't happen every time. You're right. We did write it to the, the first shot. Because it's... Oh, God. Loud. <laughs> yeah, you should get a second are... one when he cocks the shotgun, just because it's badass. Once creatures are aware of the weapon, that doesn't go off anymore. Mm hmm. That doesn't matter if I fucking rip and miss, though. That still <laughs> hits. <laughs> no fucking way. <laughs> Dude, this thing has no AC. <laughs> yeah, no HP in a second. That's an extra 12 coming at it. It is now uh, peppered with uh, yeah, the big old kitty. Wow. Say hello. Yeah, the cat. She's just like I don't, I don't want to. She look grumpy today. I don't want to. She always looks grumpy. She does. She's a sweetheart though. She's a grumpy old lady. <laughs> now she's like, okay, I'm good now. She's gonna piss all over your floor now. Again. <laughs> Don't Thanks jinx him. This is the perfect angle to piss. <laughs> <laughs> this is the perfect. How did you know? Bardane! Oh, wait. It's Nidus, are you, are, is there anything else you need to do? No. Okay. So it is me? Yes. All right. There's always some, some kind of bullshit. <laughs> so... Two shotgun blasts on the hallway. Uh, Bourdain is going to 
dash. Okay. For a whole 50 feet before getting out of breath. <laughs> it's 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 40. Get right up in this thing's face. I see this uh, giant ball of earwax. My immediate response is fight. Uh, but that's all I can do. As you run out past Sister Garel and in between this odd looking uh, spiritual uh, looking weapon, uh, you look up and ten feet up on the ceiling is that weird yellowish ichor and it's slowly just dripping down onto the ceiling oh mm, just in time sergeant fuck Coreliel yes I will bonus action attack with my spiritual weapon Okay. Come on. Uh, ooh, 17. 17 hits. A max damage. Or 10 spot. And it's a uh, force damage, right? Uh, great question. Yeah, I was just curious yeah. if it takes on the, uh, if it's force damage or if it takes on the uh, property. It's force damage. Got it. <clears throat> um, Ooh, I just realized I forgot something. Probably bad for us. Then she will do... Uh, a toll of the dead. Okay. It's going to be a DC 12. Eight Wisdom? Yes. Uh, a, a nine succeeds, right? Uh, it succeeds on a losing scale, yes. Ah, um, well. Eight, eight points. Well, as your uh, divine bell apparates behind or around this uh, creature upside down, almost like a bowl, um, and begins uh, tolling, the uh, creature begins to shudder and its viscosity changes to where it's no longer holding its shape and just kind of drips into the uh, bell before it disappears and just splatters across the uh, the ground. Burdane, as you're uh, standing there trying to, you know, looking at your feet now, uh, s your boots now soiled with this uh, ichor, um, it, the boots begin to kind of sizzle slowly as they, uh, the texture of this uh, creature seems to be, uh, or is slightly acidic. Ooh. But it is a dead. A dead. Okay. Instead of they're instead of bells, they're large gold coins that just go clang 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 together. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Kinda like a symbol or the symbols. Yep. But that is the end of this combat. Shake my boots off. Ooh, what a mess. Damn Burdane. Do we even need us? I don't feel so good. <laughs> well, of course I need you. Uh, more alarmingly, that's just a great way. Uh, oh, no, no, never mind. I, I see the problem. She turns to Thanos dust. <laughs> Mr. Big Hand, I don't feel so good. Yes, get away from me. <laughs> um... Valera Gosh, will, will Valera will step up to uh, Sister Grell and like, oh hey, I'll I'll try to help you, darling, and then just cast uh oh god damn it, I keep yeeting all my all my dice off my <laughs> dice tray. Oh well, that's a max heal, so twelve points of healing back. 
Oh, you you can't have this dice too. No. But you want to play Dungeons and Dragons. But you're a dog. You can't play Dungeons and Dragons. You can't. She can roll. try. You can't role play. I'm trying my best, goddammit. Well, BB, are you satisfied? For now. Uh, I'm not quite sure what those ghouls were eating, though. Anybody want to check? Yeah, I'll check it out. I was actually gonna um, search the uh, body over here since it seems that it has calmed down out there. I have a bad feeling. No. Nothing bad ever happens in caves. I'll go check it out so Lunk doesn't have to. <laughs> Alright, who's the stiff? So, as you guys uh, uh, examine this room... One second. Let me get back you know, I to think you. ghouls typically eat the faces first. They do. <laughs> um, Helps them. So, looking around this room, all you can see is uh, destroyed scraps of armor, uh, gnawed and uh, chewed bones. Uh, again, they... Uh, Remind you of uh, dwarvish and orcish figures. Uh, and uh, this seems to be some sort of uh, barracks. However, all of the uh, all of the chests that lie at the end of each uh, bed has long been emptied. Um, the ghouls have uh, just these dirty loincloths um, and uh, wrist wraps around on them, but other than that, no visible clothing or armor or even weaponry. Inside the uh, ochre jelly, there is nothing to be found other than uh, peppered uh, like birdshot throughout it that slowly is dissolving. Ugh. Can I at least tell the race of the dead body in front of me? Yeah, the uh, ghouls that they are uh, very elvish in uh, form. All three of them. And the uh, one they were feasting on? Dwarvish. Uh... However, looking at this, if you guys want, you can make me a uh, survival or a heal check. Medicine looking check? over the book, uh, or yeah, uh, medicine check, kind of looking over the bones. Eighteen medicine. Not my forte. Sister Garel, Lunk, and Storm, uh, looking over the bones, you can tell that they are. Uh, Probably actually a couple hundred years old. The bits oh. of flesh that are still, or there are no flesh, or is no flesh to it. Uh, the only one that's relatively fresh is the one that, the one that uh, charged first, uh, attacked, and it seems, again, uh, of a dwarvish form. Uh, well, good news. I don't think this is one of Gundren's brothers, at least been here too long what a terrible fate though not one I want to share well shall we right now the whole east as we can go lunk this way Let's see did you lock yourself no, I'm a dog, <laughs> me. I'd love to explore this whole place, but uh, I don't want us to get too distracted. I'd like to find Numo, Leon. Well, I'm standing here. I'm going to go ahead and heal myself. Silly dog locked herself in the basement. 
<laughs> what a what a dumb, stupid idiot. <laughs> It's almost like they're a dog with no opposable thumbs. But, all right. (laughs) Well, I'd offer you potions, but don't seem to have any on me. Uh, We we were bright and came in without any potions. We'll be fine. I had a potion, but I used it. After those giant fucking mosquitoes. I probably should have brought more than just one. Should have brought some bug repellent, really. (laughs) <laughs> did, did, did we not did we not want to check this door I say we we pick a direction and we keep going this way we're trying to find Numo and last I checked the necklace at least was this way we could check the rest later oh, okay. unless you guys want to go the other way we don't I'm have just to saying go if, this way. if this was a barracks it could be a storage area and maybe we could find some much needed rations and potions and such. Let me check but the I, map. I'm not. I'm not as much as a of an adventurer as you are. Uh, it looks like that door leads to a maze of hallways. All right, I'll I'll continue following. I apologize. That very leads to a chamber with a bunch of water, and the same chamber through a less direct route that we're gonna go right now. It's gonna move on. Looks like it might be a kind of <clears throat> dining hall. Um, who looks the most injured right now? Everyone has a little bit of, or a few injuries, but nothing, or it doesn't seem like any, or any of them are too major. Okay. I was I was hurting a lot before, but the max healing helped out. All right. Then, uh, we push on, I guess. Mm-hmm. Lead on. Boop. Okay. Looking um, down. Peek around the said corner, DM. Uh, looking down this, it uh, is a long hallway that ha- uh, opens up into a chamber that you can see a dim brazier light, um, like a, uh, the or down towards the end of the, the hallway um, and through the hallway just to the right you can see another opening um, that seems to lead to another chamber uh, that chamber off to the right looks like it leads to a room with a bunch of barrels in it I don't know if he wanted to check that in case like Garel said that could be stuff we could use or maybe it's just food rotted I don't know. Doesn't look too dangerous if we wanted to take a peek. Sure. Sounds fine to me. Alright. It's enough direction for Lunk. Boop. Do you know you're right from your left, Lunk? There's only one door that's not straight. <laughs> got good deductive reasoning skills. I can do one. I'm impressed. I peek into the uh, storeroom area. So you see... You do not see any dangers. You do not see anything. You do see a uh, kind of partially destroyed uh, or caved-in room. Um, However, the doorway that is in the northern section of this room... uh, actually stands uh, or seems to be standing sturdy. Um, there's fewer signs of uh, corrosion on the iron that uh, holds the door together. The wood seems to be holding pretty well. Um, and checking the door, it is unlocked. Right in my mind. That should be the storeroom. This is just a little alcove before it. I, um, I push it open slowly at first, kind of checking for dangers, but it's a storeroom. I'm hoping it's going to be empty, or at least by appearances, empty, and then I'll, you know... Okay. The so the eastern wall of this chamber has collapsed into uh, a mass of rubble, and to the north, the, jaw, the door that you just pushed open um, actually was standing ajar, um, but it ah. leads to a good-sized storeroom. Um, dusty kegs are tucked neatly against the walls. All of them are cracked and split from age. 
Um, the room smells of ale, but old ah. ale. Yeah. Are there any of these barrels slash kegs that look like they might be intact? Lunk not knowing what's inside of a keg. <laughs> No, none of them seem to be intact. All of them, like, have uh, signs of uh, molding and uh, uh, decay. Um, for Dane, as you enter, yeah, this is, uh, it stinks of old ale. Um, however, uh, once you enter through, uh, Berdane, you take a look at the door as you push through, and it's solid. Um... And you get the feeling that, if need be, this would be a decent spot to get a piece, of, a bit of quiet for a moment. Especially with the door being able to close. I'll peek my head out and call out to the rest. Um, <clears throat> all right, so here's a thought. If we're all a bit tired, uh, you need a few minutes rest. This door is particularly sturdy, more than we've seen in the rest of the the cave so far. So, if we can get inside, close it, and then pile some of these barrels in front of it, we should be able to get a a nice rest. If we want to to spend a few tens of minutes, or we could just continue on. I'm fine with either. I'm fine with either as well. All right. Two out of three. I'll go ahead and take a rest. All right, Nidus, you're invited. Come on into the Cool Kids Club. (laughs) Well, we can't just leave Nidus, so I suppose we're all resting. All right. Sister Corel, you're also invited. I don't know. Do they know the password? Oh, come on, Nidus. This isn't a you know, no girls allowed type of club. Actually, do you guys know the password? Password. Damn, she knew it. Oh. Might need some stronger security, Nidus. The I password is I forgot. That way, if you do forget, someone says that you forget the password. The password is the damn life. I forgot. And thus saying the password. Where is Sister Gorel? Under here. Huh? No. <laughs> Peekaboo! <laughs> so I'll close the door once we get everyone in here. All right. Is there a way to like lock the door, or could we like bar it shut in some way? Yeah. Place the, some barrels in front of it. The locking mechanism seems to be busted. But the barrels are in good enough shape that if you piled enough of them up, that you get the feeling that you could close it, seal it up, pretty easily. Easy. How busted does the locking mechanism look? Too busted for someone of my skills to fix. On it, no. Um, actually, uh, taking a quick cl- uh, glance at it, you can tell that it looked like it was tried to be, or it someone tried to pick it from the other side, and part of their lock pick broke off inside of it. Oh, a rookie mistake. Huh. Go ahead and make me a uh, tinker's check. So that would be dexterity plus proficiency. Twenty total. Yeah, quickly you're, or, or you're able to uh, pull out your uh, tinker set, find your smallest pair of tweezers, and reach in to the lock and pull that piece of lock pick out and. Close the door and it locks easily. There we go. Problem solved. And as you guys seal the door behind you, um, the room is still lit through the uh, magic of the stone. Um, however, the doors and the walls are thick enough that uh, as you close the door, the sound of the rushing waves kind of just disappears behind it and leaving you guys with a sense eerie uh almost like or this eerie silence spreads across the room that just won't do i'll uh pull a couple copper pieces out (laughs) 
I'll infuse one with the sounds of water again. I'll infuse <laughs> one with the smell of citrus. You can thank me later. I'm going to sleep. Well. Tristan Moldy Ale. I guess at that, uh, Lunk will roll out his bedroll in also. Get some shut eye. You guys want to do a long rest or a short rest? I thought we were just doing short. Nice and short. I don't care either way. I'm still using my bedroll for my short rest. Okay. So we'll say you guys... We'll say you guys hang out for a little over an hour, but you can take your short rest, roll some hit dice if you need to, uh, and attune to anything if you need to. If you want to. But... Hey. That should work. Eh. Better than nothing. I'm oldly sitting uh, on the floor <laughs> back, back to the walls. There's no camp counselor chair in here for me to sit on. Uh, Storm just spends the hour kind of just chilling, studying the map. Kind of making notes to herself. So you guys never told me what happened to your friend Numo. <laughs> Uh, well, not sure. Kind of, I think. He didn't <laughs> seem of his right mind. He uh, may or may not have touched a uh, amulet that was doing a curse on him, and he may or may not have taken off with it. Uh, unlucky. Right, what of advice? Not. Don't touch strange jewelry that you find in here. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm not. Strange gold, okay then. That. Yeah, she eyes Bradine. Absolutely, just fine. Mhm. Does that sword still talk to you? It talks. <laughs> I guess not. You hear something I don't notice? Yeah, I was looking at the sword. I got, I got a vibe off it that it was talking. It was more, more whispering than anything. Sentient swords are always a good idea, right? Nah. Most of the time, yeah. You got someone watching <laughs> your back. If it does talk to me, then it's probably just lined up with my, my thoughts during combat. You, know, you get angry. You know, it's a bit more power behind that swing, right? Indeed. Much needed by the looks of it. Those ghouls were pretty hardy yeah, they sure know how to take a bite out of somebody mm. nasty creatures right. you know it it didn't occur to me that the, the two of you Storm and Gorel kind of used up your abilities just okay. the more powerful ones really I still ha have some of my lesser spells most all of them, really. Yes, the uh, the lesser restoration takes takes a bit out of me. I was hoping to see some holy fire or something. Well, fresh out of that, I'm afraid. Mm. That's that's not really that's not really what I do here. I mostly uh, support the adventurers and people that I am around. Oh, like a medic. Yes, more or less. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. Pressure off of me, then. But unfortunately, I'm, I'm not as well trained as some of the other, the other of my, my sort, and fortunately, those lesser restorations, 
took most of my abilities and strength. Well, hopefully the rest did you some good, because we're just about done. I think it's time we get back on our feet, start moving. Storm, as you're kind of glancing over the uh, map itself, go ahead and make me a intelligence check. <laughs> or wisdom. Great intelligence, huh? Okay, wisdom. Yeah, this would be more wisdom. It's not great. That's an eight. Unless I get advantage, because I'm a navigator. No, that's why you're a navigator. That's why I get, let you do wisdom instead of intelligence. I'm pretty sure that's Luck's job. I have navigator's tools. What does that do? That is... It is a compass, as well as for you specifically, it would be a uh, a large map of the area that basically details some ports, uh, as well as uh, matches them up with different, uh, like a star map. Cool. So, uh, and what is it called? An astro astroglade? The the thing uh, that I think so. Yeah. That weird thing that you use to like line up with the uh -huh. stars or the moon yeah. and all that stuff. Astrolabe. Yeah. Astrolabe. I'm distracted by all this talking. I can't concentrate on the map. <laughs> uh, but uh, with or that, a sextant. <laughs> a sextant? Is that what is? Sextant. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. yeah, that is another. Yeah. That's an right, so old timey tool. That's weird. Well. Looking over the map, you're able to find uh, two routes, or two plausible routes to uh, where you're trying to go. One to the north and one to the south. However, any information, or it's hard to gleam any information of what is detailed on the map. Um, looks like you're you would possibly have to go through uh, some sort of uh, galley or mess hall uh, if you go to the north and then to the south it would be that weird uh, chamber that Gundren has marked with that greenish fungus okay uh, alright well before we go uh, I will lay out our options once again uh, I know I said I wanted to avoid this but just in case I'm overruled we could go the southern route through some uh, fungus that Gundren warned us off of, or we could go, go north through what looks like a mess hall. I'd prefer to go the mess hall route, but uh, to put it to a vote. I am extremely against going to the fungus. As am I. I've heard way too much about fungus underground that you don't want to mess with. Yes. I'll trust the half trow on this one. I'm going to trust Gundren on this one, honestly. <laughs> Alright. Well, you guys feel free to start moving. <sighs> Alright. Alright, so if we go up to the mess hall, we're going to go... As soon as we get into the mess hall, we're going to want to hang a right. And go... Is that up the stairs or down? That's up. And go up what looks like a set of stairs... Um, just before we actually take off, is there any way I could, like, take some of my rope or, like, a piece of string or something and, like, fashion the, uh, lit-up rock to me? That way, like, we don't have to, like... Wait. I'm holding it. Well, yeah, but if we get into a fight, that way you don't have to, like, put it away or something. Cause then I mean, I only need one hand to cast and one hand to rapier, so... Should be fine. Uh, unless, you unless, use, you really, unless you really want to tape it to your forehead, that would be pretty funny. Do you use both your hands when you fight, Lunk? Yeah, usually. If I give you something to hold on to it, will you promise not to break it? Of course. Then here, I'll take, I'll take my goggles off and hand it over to him. As long as you keep those over your eyes, you'll be able to see in the dark. That'll drop me from 120 <laughs> to 60, and that'll give him 60 feet of dark vision. 
Oh, jeez. I think that's the funniest thing I've ever seen. You look ridiculous. <laughs> he looks strangely smart. Very dapper. Again, the goggles have like a, a, a bird beak covering the nose, too, so you've got that on you. <laughs> nice. With the antlers and everything. Oh, dude. Did your lighting so change? <laughs> so I'm the only one who can't see, then. Awesome. Oh, shit. I can see everything now. You you do still have the... Uh, uh, I know I do, but I'm just saying I'm the only one without dark vision at this point, then. Yes. Mm -hmm. You've abandoned me, Lunk. I'm offended. <laughs> well, <clears throat> these goggles make me see better. And, um, yeah, I will just get next to Burdane and we will lead the party down El Tunnel. As the two of you make it to the... You can move two more squares for me, uh, Burdane and Lunk, and as you get there, you can make me some per perception checks. Yes, sir. I don't like the look of it as it is myself. That's pretty not good. So... Dane, your focus or uh, your focus uh, shifts as you move into or down the tunnel, and you can see uh, lit by this very dim brazier light. Uh, that, uh, and you're a bit distracted as you see several corpses lying uh, uh, across or strewn ac across the floor. Um, Lunk, you see the same, and I'll. Uh, so, steep, uh, escarpments, uh, divide this large, uh, cavern into three sections. Uh, high ledges are at either end, and a lower section in the middle. Uh, carved stone, uh, stairs climb up these ledges, uh, and two large tables stand in the middle section along with a pair of old braziers. The one closest to you st is partially lit. Um... A small table stands on the eastern ledge, um, and you see uh, skeletal ra uh, remains of dozens of dead warriors. Dwarves, gnomes, orcs, and ogres attest to the fierceness of the uh, fighting that took place long ago. Uh, these are basically skeletal remains, and of the remains that have bits of flesh left on them, they look, again, as if they've been gnawed on and Lunk, as you uh, kind of look around and open your ears and listen, you hear uh, again the sound of chewing and uh, hissing. However, the number of the chewing and hissing is greater than last. I look back at the rest of the party. More hissing things. Oh. Might I suggest sneaking this time? But Dane, <sighs> are you capable? Lunk just like Skyrim sure. crouches. I'll give you my word, but it's not very good. Well, it's worth a shot. Worst case scenario, we have to fight anyway. So, where do I get to feel my stealth check? <laughs> If you guys would like to make stealth checks, go ahead. Only if you want me to take one. Floodgates have opened. For Dane's stealth check, it is. I can't trust it'll actually give me disadvantage, so I'll do it myself. I have a newly acquired stealthy stealth because I'm a rogue. I mean, it could have been better. I well, lost my disadvantage, and now I just have a normal roll. Oh. Well, as you guys kind of Skyrim crouch and start moving your way into the room, um, the entire party makes it to that brazier. Um, if you guys want to move your tokens, but uh, as you uh, as the light coming off of uh, Storm enters the room, Whoops. the one in the furthest, or I don't know if you guys can see it, but there is a single ghoul 
can't standing. See okay. Nope. Well, there is a single ghoul that is standing on the uh, ledge up here. Um, it is chewing on something, and as uh, Storm makes her way through with that light, it turns its head and hisses. Ooh. My bad. And then charges, so... I suppose I should have put that out. 10... You were worried about 15, me. 15, 20... <laughs> 20... Ah. 25. I was 30, quiet. 35. 40. 35. 50. 55. There we go. Using a full, full dash, it gets up to Lunk. And that will be its surprise round. So that means I need... Initiative from everyone. Yes, sir. <gasps> oh. Oh. Nice. Bourdain, I'm fast as fuck, boy. I go first. I'm <laughs> also fast as fuck, but slightly <laughs> less fast. You have a dex of 20, Chief? Uh, that's why I said slightly less. <laughs> Not 20, only, 20, though. I'm only five points away from having 20 decks. I'll get there one day. Uh, but you can hit way harder than I can. True. I gotta rely on on my speed, my dainty elf arms. <laughs> I'm not even in my prime. Kyle had to nerf my ability scores because I was just so perfect. <laughs> yeah, that's totally what happened. Totally. <laughs> okay. So, this one here. Follows its buddy. Let me get this character sheet back no. open. Let's see. Goals Goals on 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 35, 40. They're also notorious for 60, having only 65. one HP. Basically. Uh, yes, problem they're is. pack hunters, so they're extremely weak. <laughs> no, shut up. Stop talking about pack shit. It's going to get really dangerous. <laughs> Taking the dash action, it moves up uh, and with its friend or with its buddy surrounds Lunk, bringing us to Nidus. Nidus. So, yeah, that one that walked up, I'm going to uh, step over, pull out the revolver, and, and try to make turn it to dust. Okay. Kablam. 20 hits. Lamb. Ooh, nice. Okay. Anything else from Unitas? That's it. But again, that was the one right here. In case I didn't notate it. I got it. All right, perfect. I'm done. Uh, Burdane, as you uh watch these two ghouls uh, surround Lunk beside you, uh, night you hear Nidus shuffle with his revolver and blows a huge chunk off of the uh, shoulder of the uh, ghoul right in front of Lunk. Hey. So you've got this. I'm gonna run away. <laughs> okay. Fuck. No, just kidding. Tact um, tactfully retreat. I'm gonna use <laughs> 10 feet of movement to get forward and then right there. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Uh, do we use flanking? Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's an optional rule. Okay. We, it is an optional rule, but I, I use it. Cool. And I'll... Advantage? Yep. I think. Okay, cool. It gives you advantage on attack rolls. Nice. Well, that's just what I'm going to do. I'm going to hit it, maybe, with my greatsword. Maybe. Do it, boom. As you pull your great sword out and swing, uh, take your massive swing at it yet again, covering it in blood, you hear, "Yes, I thirst." And then you carve into it. All right, Nidus, I heard it this time. I thought yet they talks. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> uh, and you cleave it in half. Uh, cool. and with the uh. Clean strike. You do. Uh, you do see it's kind of 
blackish stale blood coat the blade um and looking down on it you know you're familiar with slashing weapons uh you know normally the blood just kind of runs off and you see it kind of seep into the blade and it's clean again alarming ah come on that's totally cool it's the sword that eats just keep feeding it <laughs> uh, and so move attack oh can I still move is that right yeah cool I'd like to use my remaining movement to get on the opposite side of this school. Okay. <laughs> nice. No, you fool. You're about to create a flank line. <laughs> Just a fucking it's flank thing. train is coming. <laughs> it's going to be a Congo line of flanking each other. All right. So the ghoul, or you see another ghoul rush down, um, and it jumps up on top of the table that is uh, cool. sitting in the middle of the uh, room, um, and it kind of... Uh, as it lands on the table, it hunches down on all fours, and you can see that its claws are digging into the wood. Um, and you, uh, as it opens its mouth, this guttural uh, hiss fills the room, and its tongue just kind of slithers out. Um, that's its turn. Storm. You're one creepy fucker. Okay. Um, I'm going to get on the other side of this brazier. Brazier, whatever. And I'm going to take a stab with my rapier. Okay. It's a 17 on the die, but a shit, she's 23. Link, read your sneak attack for me. Once per turn, you can deal an extra 1d6 damage to one creature you hit with an attack with finesse or ranged weapon. If you have advantage on the attack roll, you don't need advantage on the attack roll if another enemy of the target is within 5 feet of it. That enemy isn't incapacitated, and you don't have disadvantage on the attack roll. Okay. I just wanted to make sure that we were uh, reading that. that I know we a sneak attack works. I just wanted to make sure that it didn't say anything about... Wasn't your bad trait doesn't read abilities? <laughs> well, I know how sneak attack works. Alright, so what was your uh, roll, though? Be, uh, 11 points of damage. No, what was the uh, uh, attack roll? 23. Ah, well, yep, yeah, that hits. And you would get your sneak attack. Yeah, so it's uh, one, sorry, five points of piercing damage and six points of sneak attack. Okay, so... All right. So, 11. Nice hit. Anything else, Storm? Um, I guess I'll post up next to Burdain. Yes. Rape you at the ready. Okay. And yeah. uh, for your information, it the don't read abilities mostly applies to Pathfinder. Mm. And being a wizard. Mm. Well, there is like a billion abilities in Pathfinder. Okay. Dash action, so I can't really do much else. Bring it on. This one gets here. This one gets here. Oh. And this one that is surrounded by uh, Lunk and Burdain is going to uh, lash out. <clears throat> One to its, uh, or one to Lunk, one to Bernane, and then a tongue to Lunk. <laughs> so Ooh. that is a. Oof. 21 to Lunk, a 5 to uh, Bernane. 21 hits. And then a 14 to Lunk. About 14 misses. I am immortal. So that is going to be six points of uh, sla or piercing damage as the, or slashing, sorry, as these uh, uh, claws um, cut through and sink into your skin. 
Uh. Runky runk. All right. Um. Well. I am actually going to, um, I like to uh, basically put away my long sword, and then I think it's, um, sacrifice half of my movement to pull out my lance. Mm-hmm. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and give this guy right in front of me a poken. All right. So that would be just a straight roll, because lance would be disadvantage at, uh, five feet. But you're flanking, so it'd be. Unless you want to do a step back. Oh, 24 to hit. 24 hits. Bam. Oof, only nine damage. So that is enough. The, uh, you pull back your lance and drive it through the center all the way to the hilt and you just barely graze over uh, Burdain's head behind it um, <laughs> and pulling your lance free there's uh, this like I said the blackish blood that just kind of oozes from the wound anything else from me Luck? Um, let's see perfect I will move here with my half movement speed Okay. Gorilla Lel. She's gonna run over here. As she draws her short sword. The line continues. And and he yells. Another the name of Tamora. <laughs> okay. Advantage on the strike with Flink. Don't you don't use slurs at evil. 22 Ooh. is going to hit. Nice. 11 damage. That that was another d20 roll. It, it oh. spammed for some reason. It didn't count it, and then it did it all at once. So 20, 22 would hit. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Okay. That would be it. Rar. Oh. <laughs> yeah, bring it, fucker. Nidus. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, do something shocking here. And Continue the line. Take a shot. 25. Cha, 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 I'll cha, move cha, 20 cha. feet over this way. As I'm walking, I'll draw my uh, dagger in my offhand. And I'll shoot this ghoul. Okay. By Anara. 24 hits. By Anara ghoul. Holy fuck. Ooh. Big boy damage. Okay. Trying to usurp the king. You got it. Anything else for you? <laughs> That's it. Burdain, what do you got for me? Um, I think that now would be a No, never. Oh, come on, do it. Just, just do it. Do a cool maneuver. Do a cool trick. Do a barrel roll. I wasn't going to attack it. I was going to use an action. But now I'm just going to attack it. Okay. Because it's easy. And my brain hurts. Do you have double swiping yet? Uh, no. Well, I mean, I, I could, but I don't want to. Well, just with action surge. Hello? Oh, goodbye, John. Uh, Hi, John. Hello. I'm going to attack. Oh, and I get advantage. 
Yes, you do. Wop. Goodbye, foul beast. Damn it. 16 still hits. I l no, I'm upset now. My my attack was too small. Go ahead, roll your damage. Ah, <laughs> uh, sir. <laughs> Weak. Uh, crown goes to you. Uh, you stab into its uh gut. You pull back, and the blood again absorbs into your sword. Um, but it's still standing. It's tough. I say to myself and not in Burdane's voice. <laughs> <laughs> this one takes two large steps on that table and then leaps. He's gonna pounce. So I'm gonna need two or a uh, athletics check uh, contested against uh, to make sure you're not knocked prone, uh, Burdane. From Burdane. All right. Athletics, here we go. Military training kicks in. Fuck you. You do, uh, you're able to step out of the way and it dodges right next, or it lands, uh, behind you as it whirls around, uh, with a single claw strike. Oh. That is a 18 to hit. That will hit. Okay. Um. I'm getting rusty. As this claw, um, kind of, or, uh, swings at you, uh, you see this weird green liquid that's on its fingertips, and as it slashes in you or into you, I need you to make me a uh, Constitution saving throw. Key. And you take uh, uh, eight points of damage. Sorry. Eight points. Okay. We'll do eight here. Uh, if this is a poison effect, I do have resistance for being dwarf. Do, do, oh. do. Damn, son. Now 2024. I think we should all just leave and have Bertrand just take care of all this. It, <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, you would uh, know that this is a poison type effect, and as it take or you feel it t almost take root in your veins, you uh, your hardiness uh, allows you to kind of just shake it off. Flex really hard and expel the poison through the wound. <laughs> It just kind of squirts out of his pores. That logic of how that works, right? As a dwarf, why you uh, resist poisons? No. Well, maybe. Let me know. Because you guys drink so much alcohol, your blood's just cleaning that shit out. That's a stereotype, and it's harmful. <laughs> but it's <laughs> That's but the it's logic true. Behind it, stereotypes <laughs> yeah. are bad. Um, Storm looks around the room. Adventure. Takes out her holy symbol and channels divinity for turn undead. Her eyes glow as she clutches her holy symbol. Ooh. Okay. So, uh, what's the save? 30 feet of you. Must make a wisdom saving throw. So, that is. I think it's DC 14 because yeah, that's. It's your, it's your. It would be your save. spell DC. Um, let me double check. Yep. Yes, yeah. it's 14. <laughs> Everybody. Everybody. Okay, so the one immediately in front of you first. He saves. The one next to you, Storm. Uh, it's a wisdom save? Mm hmm Okay, he saves. The one next to uh, Sister Garel. Needs to be in the dice tray. Okay. You almost said Galir. Saves. One next to Lunk. Fails. The one on the table. Saves. So the only one Rip. that it turns is this one here. I'm useless, I'm sorry. You tried. I tried. Hmm. <laughs> the one in, the fr in front of Lunk gets feared. Dope. Okay. But he's got a cool clock symbol. <sighs> He's wearing a Flava Flav Clock Medallion. <laughs> Two claws coming at uh, Storm. 16 so and 15. Uh, 15 hits. Or, sorry, 16 hits, not the 15. Okay. And then a 
tongue. 17 to hit. That hits. Okay. So, claws sink into you for six points of damage. The tongue <clears throat> lashes out at you um, and wraps around your throat, and you are uh, grappled, but not restrained. Can I reaction do my shocky shock? Sure. And do you need to link that again? Yeah. So I can read it. Ah, whoopsies. Deck save. Okay. Roll your 2d8. Please roll two Seven ones. Plus six. It's 13. Fuck. Well, it doesn't grapple you because it is uh, obliterated. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, the one in front of Lunk tries or uses its full movement to get away. <laughs> Lunk's confused. He's standing there with this. <laughs> <laughs> I ran all the way over here. It's so scared of you, Lunk. You're terrifying. Uh, of course, of course. All right. This one. Confused is going to jump off the table, and so that'll be a contested athletics check against uh, Lunk yeah, to see if we knock one. you prone. Can I roll better, please? Yep, 19. you're not knocked prone. You step out of the way, nice and it try. lands behind you. Uh, and one claw attack does a 17 hit. Yes, it does. Eight points of damage. Uh, that ghoul's dead. Lunk! All right. Um, I will. I will have to take a step back. Okay. Which I believe will provoke. 18 to, uh, reach. 22 to hit. Oof, yeah. Thanks. That is a... Right, 11 points of damage. Goddamn. Oof. Oops! <laughs> I just realized something that I forgot. Hmm. Valir is back here cowering. <laughs> not cowering, just standing it, and waiting. Is Lunk not raging? No. Uh, no. Uh, I do okay. not regain them in short rests. Okay. Can you only well, rage once? Um, I can only do it three times and only have one use left. So yeah, go ahead and make your uh, lance attack. Not with a nat one. A six will not hit. Mm. Kind of thrown off by that one, or the one running away from you, and then the, another one jumping at you in its place, you're just kind of like, wait, what the... I was... Uh, huh? <laughs> Threw you off a little bit. Sister Gorelli. Buffer the guy back with a shield and then slash with a sword, short sword. Okay, the one behind you? Yeah. Okay. 12, meets it, beats it. Hey. Hachubi. Shit. <laughs> well. I just realized, would um, pulling out my potion and using it be considered like a, be your like, free interact with an item use? No. Using a potion, uh, at rules as written, it's a standard action, or it's a action to use a potion, but I personally believe that takes away too much from combat, so it is a bonus action to do so. Well, I should have done that. Next turn. Uh, Sister Gorel, you have bloodied your sword. How do you want to do this? So, um, she's kind of like buffeting it back with kind of like trying to get past the shield, being like, yeah, yeah, yeah. so she'll kind of do like a pushback just a little bit, and then you'll see like almost like she's carving 
up like a fillet from like underneath the ribs straight up the middle right like carving out like the chunk right across like the shoulder blade mm. just like the whole the whole wing gruesome anything else for you sir madam <laughs> uh she'll say uh as it kind of crumples to the floor guess it's not your lucky day uh um, she will she will move um kind of around and flank this guy I'll help hold him in place Bidane good hunting she'll wink Nidus wink so anyways uh I'm gonna move 5 10 15 25 30 go over here <laughs> oh <laughs> Oh, I feel so bad for this thing. How do you Shouldn't. want it, buddy? I'm blasted. <laughs> 14. Or 13. Point blank. Oh. That hits. Okay. You blow a nice, sizable chunk of uh, sinew and viscera all over storm wonderful thank you anything else for you sir smile at the birdain there you go soften him up for you uh -huh. I still hunger no great Hold me. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> Fucking fine, whatever. Have your meal. <laughs> Critical hit. Ralph, <laughs> hold me. I'm good. Violence. I love it. Oh. That is the source voice. Not the nat 20. Oh. Not nat 20 for 14 damage. Oh, God. How, do, how would you like to do it, Bernadine? I would like to do this as uh, non-violently as possible. I'm tired of this sword. It's only talked to me for like a couple seconds. So, uh... You, uh, give the ghoul your best camp counselor look. And it kind of just slumps and you point, hold your sword out and it just uh. walks forward impaling itself until it splits its own spine and just crumps crumples over oh my god I'm horrified damn but Dane no wonder your wife let you know when you kids your blade starts absorbing all the dirty juices on the that, inside it does that wasn't really that wasn't very nice storm you really should be mindful of other people's feelings I'm in a bad mood. I have ghoul shit all over me. So do I. <laughs> Anything else for you, Burdane? Is it possible for me to run away crying? <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, but actually I would like to move. Um, hearing those, those dogs slapping on the stone floor, uh, running away. And that ghoul right there. Uh, mm -hmm. Can I hop onto the the table yeah it's easy okay, enough that it doesn't take a check nice gonna roll over it yeah does it use a uh, double movement to uh jump up or get up on the table yeah yeah it would be uh 10 foot okay it would use that's 5 15 20 remember oh. you're attuned to your boots now I am? Oh, right. It's pretty short rested. Huh. Well, I still can't climb onto this other one because I don't have an extra five feet of movement. Do a diagonal. Make 30. I suppose. It is. It, the boots do affect long jumps. You can get up on Ooh. the table and just try to jump across. I would like to do this. Yes. Okay. 
this seems this seems fun. That would jumping away from my problems. That would be an athletics check to do that, but with your boots. To a new problem. Okay, three times the normal distance. You can't jump farther than your remaining movement would allow. So I've got ten feet. No. Five feet left. And athletics. Yeah. All right. Uh, oh. <laughs> the DC is not that high. You slip on a little bit of blood and viscera, and you kind of knock your shin on the uh, other table as you're landing, but you do land on the table. Damn. Very graceful. No, I'm not giving thumbs up. I'm going to retract that. <laughs> you already did it. No, retracted. Storm was mean to me. <laughs> Stop running away from your problems, Bernade. You got to face it. This is the only way I know how to solve things. <laughs> yeah, it ain't Storm. gonna work forever. Storm is going to follow suit. She can make it there with her movement, and she'll take a jab with her rapier. Do you run around the table or over the table? I guess I'll I'll I'll, I'll vault over it. Okay, so that it would take ten or the square moving through the table would be an extra five or extra five foot, so it would be. Damn. Hold on. I'm, I couldn't make it there. Never mind. I will have made it to the school instead. Okay. And that was a 19 on the die. The hit? Okay, that hits. Yeah. Do I get a sneak attack? It is not. Since Lunk is engaged, but it's not within five feet, so it wouldn't uh, count it. it is. But Lunk has a reach weapon, so he is technically in still engaged with that creature. So yes. Okay, that's ten points of piercing and three sneak attack. Nice. Feed the blade, Burdine. Oh. Feed the blade. Quit talking. Let me see. Where is Feed me see turn more. for one minute until it takes damage. Turn nice. turn it's turn like me. It takes reactions for its action. It can only use it to Okay. So using the dash action, this motherfucker is going to 5, 10, 15, 20. Turn on dead doesn't allow AOs, right? Yes it does. Oh, okay. That's what I was trying to do. I was trying to make them all run so everybody could take a whack at them. Oh, oh I thought it kind of as a forced movement. I didn't realize it provoked. Can I deal with my problems? Mitchell, you are right that force movement doesn't provoke. Oh, okay. Oh, damn. My bad. But for the That's sake of... I didn't try to attack it when it ran away from me. Yeah. So... Another day. But that is all it can do. That. Ghoul, uh, two claw or a two uh, gross-looking claws are gonna swipe at Storm. It's gonna be a sixteen and a oh my god, natural twenty. Oh. Okay, oh. so first one is ugh, twelve points. And then fourteen points. So total twenty-six points of damage oh. as two claws cleave into you. Um, oh. And then it is going to whip around using its long-ass tongue and attempt to uh, trip Lunk. So make me a uh, athletics check, please, sir. I would just like to say that Storm goes to one knee. And she's gushing blood. She goes very pale. Uh, you were able to step out of the tongue's grasp, Lunk. And that will be its turn. And you just see, or Lunk, you see it uh, gash twice uh, severely into Storm and then turn around and try to trip you. But now it is your turn. I am... Pissed. 
I'm going to try and give him a good poking. You give him a great poking. You goofed. You fucked it. That hits, and so for five damage, it is still standing, Not but lot, severely but... damaged. I'm gonna say that Storm was so severely wounded she didn't even remember to shock him. All right. You could have flanked the ghoul, but you didn't. Garel. Oh, bonus sorry. Action. Yes, bonus action. For Please. my bonus action, I'm going to um, drink my potion. Got it. Okay. Lunk do be hurting. So it's a basic healing potion. Uh, I have a greater healing. Greater healing. So that's forty-four plus four. Yes. Nine. <laughs> Gotta love it. So thirteen total. Does that does wait, does that count for my uh durable? No, it's only when you roll a hit die to regain HP. So mm -hmm. nine plus four, thirteen helps. <laughs> Lunk is still hurting. Just one thing. Sister Garel. But a little less. She will run over here, like this hoe, mm -hmm. and she'll uh, swing again at this gentleman. Something. 22 is going to hit. Oh my gosh. That's enough. How does Sister Garel want to kill the second one? So as she kind of runs up, she'll slash, like, the back of his, like, leg, like his Achilles. Mm hmm And he'll just kind of, like, start dropping down to one knee, and she'll just shwoom, neck right off. All right. Anything else for you? Um... She'll move one more step this way. And that will be it. Okay. Bringing us to uh, Nidus. I'll uh, walk over this way. While I'm walking over, I'll go ahead and sheath my dagger. Place a hand on Storm and do a uh, cure light wounds. Or just <laughs> the wounds. Miserable roll, though. <laughs> well, there's something. She coughs up blood and gives you a weak thumbs up. <laughs> I advise letting uh, Burdain finish what he's starting over there. And then I'll keep moving up. 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. Okay. Verdane. If you don't finish it, I will. I'm going to move 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Thank you, Boots. Let's you along for the last five feet. <laughs> They're Heelys. Okay. Running start. Oh, right. <laughs> That's so dumb. <laughs> uh, I'm going to rush up and swing with my greatsword. Okay. Vengeance. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. 16 hits. Okay. Uh, okay. Same rule. 13. All right. So as you cleave down with your uh, great sword, uh, you uh, make a large gash in its back, um, and it freezes in its tracks, and it turns around to face you, and you can see that this weird or the the pale 
green eyes uh, had this slight, uh, you know, bluish radiant glow behind them that just fades and it uh, turns around to face you. Oh. The turn undead has worn off. Uh, I would like to goad it. Oh, goad it. Uh, is that a bonus action to do it? Oh, no, I'm just taunting it. Ah, <laughs> feed my blade. Yeah. Your blade is still sipping. <laughs> um, Storm is going to slump to the ground with her back against the wall. There reach is- out a we reach out a hand and, and point at uh this guy and toll the dead. Okay. Say wisdom. Mm-hmm. DC fourteen. Okay. Roll damage. Three. The the, the uh, diving bell apparates above its head and weakly tolls. Leaving us with this now ghoul's turn. Is going to turn, or it's already turned and face Burdane. So, two claws. Uh, 19 and 20. Both hits. Nine. And nine again. Tongue trying to trip you. So, athletics. Sir. Oh, nine. Oh. Its tongue wraps around your foot and sweeps it out from under you, so you now lay on the ground prone. Damn it, I said finish it or I will. That doesn't mean give up. Oh. <laughs> I can't speak. Um, <laughs> and just the wind right out of the sails. Just because I didn't add Valera to the initiative, I'm going to put her in just right here. She will use a cure wounds at second level on storm. So that is 14 points of healing. Well, and luck. I think you know, I think you know my new best friend. Oh yeah, sure. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Turn monk. What you doing? I was looking at something on my character sheet. Oh, um, my bad, sir. I will. I will move here. And then, um, screw it. I will throw my lance at this thing. Oh, no. Okay. Whole fucking lance? (laughs) (laughs) Throw the whole lance out. (laughs) (laughs) 23 to hit. Uh... Burdane, as you're laying on your back, uh, looking up at this ghoul, um, <laughs> a lance comes soaring from outside of your uh, perif- peripheral vision and embeds itself in its skull. Cool. And it slumps to the floor. Huh. Nice. Okay. <laughs> well, Monk and Burdane romance oh. I've been seeing. <laughs> Lunk just walks over, pulls his weapon out of the zombie, and helps Burdane up. Easy. That was a close one. <laughs> For your knowledge, I was at one HP when Nidus healed me. Oof. 
<laughs> if I, if yeah, Burdain's I if Burdain's health is correct, he's at two right now. Oh, that'd be fuck. correct. Does does anyone <laughs> does anyone need healing? Burdain's gonna, having problem breathing. <laughs> I'm gonna dig through my bag pretty laboriously and take out two potions. Wait, before you do that, I I can channel some healing. Come on, Burdain, let the nice lady touch you. Right, right, Burdain, Burdain. You just walked right past me, but that's that's cool. I'm fine now, by the way. Thanks for asking. I I didn't. I was trying to get rid of the threat near you. I didn't realize that you were that injured. That I was dying. Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. If I'll you'd like, I that. could just leave. I could just leave. <laughs> Cat fight. If I could bleed out any faster, I would. <laughs> no one has to move. I can just heal you from there. So I can channel divinity, preserve life. Mm -hmm. um, I can only heal people up to half their hit points, though. Mm -hmm. So how much are people in how much? It, huh? It heals five times your cleric level. Yeah, it's 20. I can heal up to 20 total, but I can't heal people past their half. So if Burdain can tell me how much healing he needs to get to half, I can reduce the 20. How much? Or I guess 16. Can't hear you, sorry. I think it would be 16. I guess the rest can be split up whoever else wants it. I'm uh, already above half health. I'm at four okay. health. I'm above half. Alright, so that's it then. 16 to Berdain. I appreciate it, Sister Corel. Am I free to use my own potions now? Yes, I just figured. No, you're not free to use your own potions. Or do you have something for me as well, Nidus? No, I don't. And I apologize. I'm not used to hanging out with such adventures that gets attacked by ghouls every five minutes. You get used to it. It's been at least an hour, to be fair. Actually, Burdain, I do have something for you. 30 now minutes. Remembering. Is that right? Yeah, I'm dig into my bag and retrieve the other bag of a dozen apples and pull one out and throw it your way. How's that saying go about an apple a day? I wouldn't know. I don't eat apples. Uh, you do now. Storm's gonna go ahead and use level one cure wounds on herself. We are absolutely burning through all that healing magic we have just taking on these ghouls, huh? I mean, we need to take inventory here. We got enough to keep going. Starting to look like we might need a long rest here, guys. I'm fine, I'm fine. Admittedly, we did make a strategic error. It was this or fungus? That's not the error I was referring to. The error of not gearing up before heading out? No, we did fine. We did. We just didn't expect so much. We bought potions and... All sorts of things before we came here. Well, I guess we gotta reassess the situation, seeing as how we're dealing with so many ghouls. There's no telling what else is out there. Well, according to this map, we're just uh, a hallway or two away from our destination. Okay, we should be fine then. Fifty. Do you need any more healing, Badain? No, I'm fine. I appreciate it, though. Hey, if you're not gonna eat that apple, throw it back. <laughs> I'll roll it. <laughs> oh. <Ew. laughs> well, um, is there this anything of value in these body piles? The some of them are or do have weapons and armor, but using uh. Or looking over them, you can tell that they are rusted and uh, 
dulled to a point like they've been sitting here for a very long time. So there are weapons and armor, but if it's the whether or not it's usable is the big issue. Um, scattered about the area, there is rotten food, um, a few uh, dirty tankards, uh, but uh, mainly it seems like this was the site of a massive battle, uh, at least down here. Um, as I said before, there's dozens of dead warriors, dwarves, gnomes, orcs, and ogres. <sighs> And I would like to say that uh, if you guys need to, please take this this chance to use the restroom because I need to. Oh, thank you. Oh yes. yeah, PP break. Whoa. Yeah. Damn. Oh no, Yuki. You locked yourself in here again. Big dumb baby. Yes, yeah, she is. There's a fuzzy butt. Wow. What, baby? What are you doing? Are you sad now that you've locked yourself in here? Huh? Here, let's see what you do when I get when I do this. Here, you can put it in your mouth. Hmm? Huh? You want to chew on it? She doesn't want to play D and D anymore. <laughs> She's lost interest. You almost killed me. One more point of damage and I would have been unconscious. You will. If that tongue did any damage. Mmm. You got a good tongue in. I did not. Ghoul walks up to you and goes like... I don't consent. <laughs> 
could be worse. You're not, not a negative one health in a boss battle with a big snake lady. <laughs> oh. Cut it close. You did say you, you, you wanted somebody to die. I did. Even if it has to be me. <laughs> no! Was... Was the snake lady supposed to run? Or were we supposed to kill her? Were we not supposed to kill her? This is a part that I didn't play, so I have no idea how that plays out. Same. I had to take a break for work, so I stopped right after Ironbriar. And that played out very differently with that group than how it is with us. What happened? We fought Ironbriar the first day we made it to Magnamar. Oh shit, how? We, we uh, went to Foxglove Manor the first day. We talked to the uh, Justice afterwards. And then the, uh, the fight at the Lumber Mill happened that night. Damn. Did you guys kill your way in, or did you try to stealth mud like we did? Just walked in. Admittedly, Eric was a different DM then. He had he had read to the book a lot less, so the situation went differently. Yeah, I was a shit DM. Tell him. Oh, you were the fucking worst. Remember when you used to let me just spark shit as a witch? Yeah. And spark bosses. Oops. Hey, is that boss wearing anything flammable? Spark. <laughs> yep. I totally cheesed the whole stick foot fight with Rup with with a uh, rip nugget. Torch him. He burns, falls off the he, uh falls off his uh ride and that's it. Knew it too. DM's discretion, you know. Nah, player's discretion. Players I fucking knew what he was doing. Players taking advantage of a new DM. Yeah, motherfucker. You back with us, John? Yes. Okay. Oh. So only Lunk is not back with us. Fuck it, we'll do it live. <laughs> <laughs> I think he said he's gonna go fish real quick. Just real quick. Yeah. Well. Well, party. Where would you like to go? Well, uh, this would be the way, according to the map. Um, as you're kind of, like, pointing down to the map and looking at this area, the section up north that you're going to be heading to has a large gap in it, although it is clearly drawn on your map or uh, on the map that you as Kaylee have Storm's map there's a large blank spot in that room um, and Gundren had, had not gone back this far um, so the contents of this room is unknown he knows the general size but the contents of it is unknown uh, well, this part of the map is, uh, unmarked, so I'm not sure what's over there, but, uh, it seems to be the quickest way, unless we really want to go back through the fungus. <laughs> Forward it is. Already come this far. The fungus doesn't sound very fun. Yeah. More ghouls, maybe? Guess. Uh... Likely. Lead the way. It should be, uh, we go up the stairs, hang a left, and then a right. You know, I don't mind leading the way this time. By all means, Nidus. I'll walk forward and start reloading as I keep walking. Okay. Ew, what a mess. Hmm. Hell is that? Another uh, body. Yeah. 
You know, it's it's strange. This place. I didn't catch how much it reeked. I'm trying to breathe through my mouth. Mm. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> It'll become a habit during combat, and you're just more likely to get bits in, in your mouth. Knowing you, you'd probably keel over and vomit. What have I ever vomited in front of you? Never. I'm just making fun of your weaker constitution. When have I ever shown some sort of weak constitution? A lot. Is this a broken weapon laying next to the dead body? Yes. I want to Speaking of weak constitution, you let yourself be controlled. Hallway. You want to pick it up and throw it down the hallway? I want to slide it down the hallway, see if it, if it hits any traps. Okay, sliding it down the hallway, it does. Uh, it doesn't hit any traps. Uh, however, you do hear the sound of almost like sucking air through, uh, or and uh, the sound of like shuffling, heavy shuffling. And More than with just the one zombie I see already, with the uh, yeah, looking down the hallway in this chamber. Uh, or down the hallway, it goes completely dark. Uh, but with your dark vision, you're able to see the outline of um, a dwarvish figure. Um, however, there's proportions of its body that are odd, missing even. Um, and uh, as the weapon seem or it comes to rest uh, around here, um, you do see a smaller uh, creature. Uh, almost like the size of a uh, large bird. Um, however, like you can't really get much of a actual uh, shape. It just seems like a glowing green light, flickering like flame, that uh, flies down this or uh, kind of hovers down this way, makes a quick investigation, and then moves back. Looks welcoming. Well, Perdane, would you have done that if you took charge? Uh, no. I can't say I would have. But... You can see we've got company up ahead. Hmm. And usually not the good kind if it's glowing green. Well, my instinct is to rush and try to beat them down as quickly as possible, but I think I'll let you take the lead on this one. My instinct is to walk in quietly and get a shot in before it knows we're here. Hmm. Sounds good to me. So I will start stealthing my way down the hallway. Okay. Make a stealth check. Storm will follow. I figured you'd ask for one of those. So <laughs> appropriate. So... Storm, you're able to make it a little bit further. Uh, Nidus, you get to about this square here. Storm, you get just a little bit further. So Can you put me in the square I make it to. Yes. Um, and as Storm, you make it just around that corner. As you hear kind of uh, a slight uh, scuffling sound, and you look behind you to see Nidus has uh, kind of hurriedly uh, tripped over something on the ground uh, or mo or scattered a few rocks around um, and what you see uh, what you see in this room storm and nidus is a uh, blast furnace and a mechanical bellows powered by a water wheel th uh, that dominates this entire chamber um, the furnace is cold and dark but heaps of coal are piled nearby along with carts full of unrefined ore. The water wheel sits in a uh, 10 foot wide channel cut into the floor of the room, but the channel is dry. Um, the passages or passages eg exit to the west, south, and east. The empty channel also uh, exit to the north and the east. Uh, more than a 
dozen corpses are scattered around the room. Um, these slain dwarves and orcs are still re wearing the remnants of their armor. Floating above them is a skull engulfed in green flame. And I'll show you what this creature looks like. Ooh. Pretty. Beautiful artwork, in my opinion. Yeah. For once. <laughs> Didn't know we stepped into doom all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> well, as uh, in response to hearing this noise, uh, or in Storm, from your perspective, you can see that skull swivel and uh, look down the hallway and as it opens its mouth, um, its mouth uh, drops open and you can see the uh, bits of flame uh, coalescing in its uh, mouth, co like coalesce into a smaller uh, green moat that flies out from its mouth, landing just off this corner. And I need both of you to make me a dexterity saving throw as a fireball oh, erupts fuck. through this hallway. Oof. They want to retreat and do a long rest in that room. <laughs> so, both of you save. But... Let's see. Oh my god. Do I have enough? I have enough D6s. I was about to let you borrow some of mine. <laughs> How many D6s? Uh, eight. <clears throat> Oh, it's a. I was wondering if it'd be 20, that time uh, Elamir rolled like twenty something d sixes. So it's uh twenty three points of damage, but both of you succeeded your save, so it's half. So that would be twelve. Is it possible to use a reaction move on that? It is. Right, well, if you'll allow a reaction, I will use my absorb elements on it. Hmm. I'll absorb five points of fire damage. Nice. Well, that is where I will call initiative once again as uh, this green skull uh, fires off this fireball and you can see several of those bodies, dwarvish in form, uh, laying around the ground or on the ground begin to kind of rise up and creaking and cracking uh, as their bones begin to uh, shift and adjust back into place, allowing them movement yet again. Mm. Uh, let's see. You're gone. This one. Uh. I'm so glad that I started, like, pre-rolling all this stuff before everything starts. And then... God fucking damn it, Nidus. Ah, uh, you hate to see it happen. Alright, let me get everything adjusted. Alright. So... <clears throat> Starting off the uh, bit of combat, the uh, flame uh, flame skull is going to uh, once again uh, open its mouth. And uh, instead of the fire in its around or surrounding its skull coalescing, um, it just shoots out in uh, two bursts. Um, one of them uh, towards Storm, one of them towards Nidus. And that's going to be 
a 19 and 17. Hits. Mm -mm. Does yeah, not hit. Hits. Okay. That is... Ugh. 16 points of damage to both of you. <laughs> Storm crumples to the ground, unconscious. Well. Alright. She literally goes, God damn it, Nidus! And then gets blasted. <laughs> well. Mm. This zombie here closest to Storm, Nidus, you see uh, it slumped down over Storm and uh, tried, or uh, opens its mouth wide, unhinging and takes a large chomp out of her leg. Um, so that is going to be uh, seeing as you're already unconscious, that'll be marked as one failed death slave. Eesh. That's not cool. <laughs> Sister Gorel. Uh From what you I, can see, uh Storm just dropped to the floor and is uh, being consumed. Moving. Yeah. <laughs> Man, he really should have rested. Um She's going to run up, <clears throat> kind of hide still behind the corner. I can't drag her body, right? It would be, at this point, with the zombie holding on, it would be a con contested strength uh, check against the yeah. zombie's tr strength that's holding you there, or holding her there. My strength is Garbo. So, this probably won't work that well, but I'm going to... Oh no, guys. I don't know if you... I, don't, if you can't see it. My dog. She dead. Barely. She dead. Just like Storm. Oh wait, she's alive. <laughs> Maybe not storm. dead. Not yet. Um, I'm going to run up and cast cure wounds on on her. Okay. Give me max. Good. Max All right. Goes. So you are at 13 points of health now. Star goes. Right. <gasps> oh fuck. And then um. There's not really much else I can do. If I cast. No, I can't do anything. That is the end of my turn. Okay. Zombie, zombie. Lumber, lumber. Lunk. Right. Um, seeing the fireball and storm fall, I am going to rage. Okay. No one hurts Lunk's friends. going to have to um, use a dash but um, I will be hitting him with my long sword shortly okay stand by <laughs> stand by for pain stand stand by for angry boy Birdane. 
Alright. And one thing you'll notice about these zombies, they move much slower than the, the ghouls that you had been fighting. Good. Now Lunk's in my way. Um, if it'll help you, I could technically move, like, one space over. I have just enough movement. You've already moved. I just didn't realize that that was, like, your max spate, your max spot, too. <laughs> it's not. Let's see. Dummy. Hmm? I'm dying. Yeah, I was gonna try and help you. Let's see what happens. Oh, We're gonna dash down the hallway. Okay. Right here in the middle. Ooh. Okay. It was nice knowing you, Sergeant. I'll turn back and give a salute. Fuck. <laughs> Alright. Well, Valera is going to uh, step up. Um, after this, we may need to take a break because this is all I've got. And she's going to raise her hands and cast Shatter. Yeah. Let's see. Constitution. Very strong. And that is a 10 foot area. So let me get my little square out. Do 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 do. And here we go. Dropping it right there. Right. So those two need a constitution saving throw. That's a pass and a fail. It's going to be... Oh, it's a 10-foot sphere. Let's see how that changes real quick. Ah, that makes a big difference. Oh, jeez. Okay, so that's... I was about to say, I thought it was bigger. Yeah. That's what she said. Oh my god. <laughs> 3d8, so that would be a full 6 to this one. Let me move this to the map layer. So now this is all considered rough terrain. Yuki, get out from underneath my feet, girl. Come on. Go. Go. Thank you. Father, love me. And... Yeah. Okay. 13. Sorry. Ooh. All right. Uh, this guy. Dude. Dude. Storm. Uh, laying on the ground. I'm going to use half my movement to get up. Mm hmm. And I'm going to do a little stabby stab. Okay. Right right here. Uh, 19. 19 is going to hit. <laughs> uh, that's 9 points of piercing and 1 point of sneak attack. Okay. Anything else? Um. 
can't move away without taking an attack of opportunity, so no. Nidus! Mm. Let's see, I'll move 5, 10, 15. Oh, there's more zombies than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the party. I'm gonna shoot the skull, because it seems like it's the biggest threat right now. Okay. Thirteen, though. Um. <clears throat> well, meets it, beast beats it, but it is going to you or uh, use a reaction, and you see some of that uh, flame that's poofing out of the back of its head suddenly wrap around it, and the bullet is it disintegrated. Uh, those of you magic users can uh, probably recognize this as the uh, shield spell. Torn would be proud. I'll use a bonus action. And I'm gonna cast Sanctuary on Burdane. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Nice. So has to make a will save to oh, attack. Whack. Yeah, they have, they have to make a will save. Okay. Which is I'm sorry, a wisdom saving of fourteen. Or else they cannot hit Burdane. Well, this one is not very smart, so it is going to uh, make it or attempt its wisdom save. Ha! <laughs> um, so negative one on the wisdom save. Nice. <laughs> I rolled a natural one, and then it has a minus two to its wisdom. So. Oh, I thought that was the modifier. Love it. That was the roll. Love to see it. Yeah, so it cannot attack Burdane. Nice. And if there is nothing in range of it to attack, then it lost that attack. Ah. Uh, well, then it's going to lumber. <laughs> Sad. There. The zombie. And Lumber. Just go, hmm. This zombie. Lumber. Will wisdom save. Ah. Uh, fifteen minus two is thirteen. DC fourteen. Nope. <laughs> well, that brings us back to the lovely flame skull. Burdain that lo that works as long as you don't swing your sword. Not for long, then. Yep. But hey, I saved you from a few hits. You could at least move away from their flanking. So, once again, you see that uh, the flame skull open its mouth, and there's uh, this green fire that coalesces into its mouth. Um... But instead of shooting it out like it did originally for the uh, fireball, let's see, five foot diameter, five foot circle. There we go. A sphere of flame uh, occupies the space in between those two uh, zombies and this uh, ball or the sphere of flame just begins to uh, almost kind of like, like roll across the ground um, moving this way so one two Burdane and Lunk and zombie so three zombies need dexterity saving throws. Fail. Fail. Wow. Two net ones with Fail. advantage. Gotta love it. Wait. Misa need dex. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Alright. Oof. Oof. 
It's not bad. All right, so 11 points of fire damage uh, to uh, Lunk, and then there's, what would it be, six points to Burdane as the uh, the heat from this uh, flaming sphere spreads out um, and severely burns uh, the two of you, the zombie in front of Lunk uh, burns nearly to uh, complete ash. Um, it's still standing, but uh, its feature or its grotesque uh, skin is nearly gone. The one behind you, Burdain, is also, or and in front of you, Burdain, is severely injured. Okay. Uh leaving the one zombie in front of Lunk to... What are the actual odds of two net ones with advantage? Uh, what is it? <laughs> if, or isn't it like a 5% chance for a natural one? So it'd be uh, a 10% it's double, chance. It's got to be like a 2% or something like that. Yeah, but wow. this zombie in Bad front of news. you is going to reach out with that nasty hand um, with a uh, 22 to hit Lunk and as it reaches out it grit, uh, kind of pushes its fingers into your chest and squeezes like ca causing uh, massive scratches um, to form uh, and that will be uh, this is slashing damage so it would be 6 halved to 3 uh, what was that to hit? 20 shit 22. 22, it misses. So you're able to uh, move your tail up in enough time to uh, deflect the hand. Awesome. Well, Jeez. a point zero zero two five chance. I hate this game. Sister Gorel. Yes, sir. I am going to... Like say, uh, are you all right? To storm. Uh, not great, but not dying anymore, I suppose. You no, know, we've got zombies surrounding us, and we got a flaming skull spitting fire. Yes, I, I, I don't think it's wise as she's like walking. I don't think it's wise for us to charge forward. We should draw them back. But um, as she's walking away, she's going to. Um, I'm running out of spells. Um, she's gonna move right in the middle here. And do a word of radiance. Okay. Um you would be moving through that flaming sphere. In order to I move can't move I can't move through my, my party members. You could, but it's still within the five feet rate or the five feet surrounding, because every square within five or surrounding in five feet of that yeah, sphere. Yeah. So what do I need to do on that? That would also hurt your party members. Would it? By word of radiance? Uh, it's why I, I can't thunder wave. My choice. Yeah, I think a uh, word of radiance is uh, any targets of your choice. It's my choice. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Uh, cool. Yeah, thunder wave is everything. Shatters everything. <laughs> Doesn't read spells. I don't have Word of Radiance, so. So it'd be uh, three points of damage um, as you uh, move through the spell. Uh, yep. Move through the flaming sphere. Your Word of Radiance. What is it? Uh, constitution saving throw for how far for out? Five feet. So the three zombies around me. Okay. Constitution saves. All right. So, uh, fourteen, nine, and six. So two of them uh, fail. So the one that, that they're undead is weak to radiance. Hopefully, I don't know. Uh, 
Ah. Okay. So how much damage was it? Five? Five. Okay. So. Come on. Work for me. God damn it. I need to zoom in on this map. Mm -mm 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 -mm. There we go. Now I can see shit. This one. And the one in front of Lunk disintegrates in uh, a burst of holy flame. <laughs> Jeez. Nice. This zombie. <clears throat> Move there. And take a swipe at Mr. Burdain. Remember the will save. Ah, yeah, will save. Or wisdom save. Uh, well. Wisdom 14 minus 2 is 12. What's the DC 14? 14. That's a negative. <laughs> Burdain, I just want you to know I rolled a natural 20 on that attack. Ooh, thank God. Don't thank God, thank Nidus. Yeah. You <laughs> Ugh. Let's see. I do have to check. Move it to reach for a nice flammable object. Nice flammable form. Protects from damage. If you bring this fear into a creature, this fear is damaged. I think for now I will. Move over to here. Okay. And I'm going for Skullboy. Okay. Oof. 16 to hit. That hits. And 10 damage. What? Uh, you're using your sh long sword, right? <clears throat> oh, wait. Did I click the right one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did click rage. Never mind. 8 damage. Okay. I thought I clicked the other one by accident. Perfect. So as you uh, cleave into this uh, skull, you uh, take a big piece of bone off of it. Night. Hmm. 5, 10, 15, 20. There, to take a swipe at Lunk with advantage 19 to hit. You just had your turn, so you still have your reaction, or you have your reaction mm -hmm. back. Um, ah, means it beats it. Okay, I hate to see it. Well, fortunately, it's six damage raging, so three. Yeah, burden. Me. I'm gonna swipe at the zombie to my left with my greatsword. Okay. The sanctuary falls. And it does. 16 hits. Four. 14 damage. Okay. <clears throat> Dead zombie. And you hear the uh, whispering in your head. I grow tired of rotten blood. <laughs> Too fucking bad. I'm gonna action surge. Oh shit! Oh fuck! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, and the zombie to my north. I'm gonna try and do a pushing attack. Okay. Um. So let's just see if I hit first. That's a... I think I'm gonna hit. <laughs> oh my god, okay. So that's a... <laughs> definite hit. Uh, and then it's a strength to resist your push. Uh, that is correct. So when I hit with the weapon attack, I can expend a superiority dice and add the total to the damage roll later. And it has to make a DC 15 strength saving throw. Or be ha moved how far? 15 feet. Okay. 
Uh, well, roll me some damage. Okay. Oh, wait. Okay, I think it auto rolls for crit damage. Yeah. Yeah. And it's it just another d8. Doesn't look like it auto rolled for crit. 15. That's uh, 2d6r. Which. That's just your regular roll, it looks like. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. 2d6, 3 plus 4 plus 6 is 13. Another roll, Kyle? Yeah. Okay. So. <laughs> 29 damage. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, Bring it around, around town. <laughs> so, you, uh. Put your big dwarvish foot up against this zombified dwarvish figure and kick it backwards. And as it's moving back, you um, use a large swing of your uh, great sword and sever its head from its shoulders. Um, and the body uh, continues its fall and crumples uh, into the uh, uh, canal, uh, falling about 20 feet and you hear the scattering of bones as it hits these uh the stone floor beneath Ugh. and unfortunately that one doesn't get its uh special property because you killed it anything else for you wasn't it dead already <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to try to move away from the fire. Okay. Uh, so, diagonal into the tough terrain. That's extra movement, and I should have enough to get right here. Yes. Okay. And that'll be it for me. Oops, I for I skipped the Valera's turn. She's going to step up back here next to Nidus, and... Cast Bane. I was born of it. <laughs> I was just about to say it. Oh my god. Darkness. Oh my god. Uh -huh. All I can do is natural ones. That one saves. And that one fails. By the time I rolled a natural 20, I was blinded. This one. It's there. That's all I can do. Storm. Storm is going to go, uh, excuse me, pog me. Back up into the corner. <laughs> and she's going to cast Guiding Bolt on the Flaming Skull. Okay. Nice. Um, that's an 18. That hits. Total. Uh, how much damage they at? Forty-six. That is fifteen damage, radiant damage, and uh attacks against it have advantage until my next turn. And Storm's going to call out Skullfuck's vulnerable. Finish it. Alright. <laughs> the zombie here is going to approach Valera. With a you piece of shit. Well, <laughs> uh, as he uh, goes to swipe at uh Valera, his hand falls off. Nice. Nidus. That's mm. hilarious. <laughs> Guess I can't really move the flank. Not with that attitude. Skull fuck has advantage. Mm. Or you could give advantage against skull. I'll drop 
back here and shoot the skull. That's the best idea I've got. Twenty-four. Ooh. Then your advantage roll. For that nat twenty, baby. Uh, Twenty-four still hits. Twenty. Holy fuck! Well, one point off from f max damage. Sweet Jesus. <laughs> uh, Nidus. Mm-hmm. How do you want to do this? Nice. Hit it in the nose. Okay. As you uh, pull back and fire uh, towards its uh, vacant nose cavity, um, the skull shatters into hundreds of pieces, and the flame just uh, flickers out, as well as the uh, sphere that I was about to use against you. Damn it. Oh, we're all back up into the corner. <laughs> It's okay. I still have that zombie's dead. Well done. Uh, zombie. Uh, rough terrain can only get there. It makes a swipe at Burdane. With try me. A, eighteen to hit. Little hit. Uh, five damage. Of icky icky uh, fingerlings that are clawing into you. The zombie is dead. Creepy fuck. You're welcome, <laughs> Sister Garel. No wait, wait, how much damage? I didn't catch it. You said it weird. Five. Five. <laughs> All right. She's it's my thing. You can't do that. She's gonna go down here. She's gonna cast. I cast long sword swipe. Now I'll do another. Um, did it seem like the when the last word of radiance went out that the damage looked like it hurt them more or not? It doesn't seem like uh, it hurt them more, but make me a uh, religion check. Good enough. So you know that most zombified beings um, have a thing uh, that's called undead fortitude, uh, where if they're reduced to zero hit points, uh, and this is, or if they're uh, killed with anything besides radiant damage or a critical strike, a very well placed strike they have the opportunity and the possibility of standing up again to continue fighting. Alrighty then. So I'll tuck that in the back of my mind after. Um, and I guess I will just swing a sword at the flanked one here. Okay. So it'd be at advantage. It's being dumb. Eventually it'll go through. I have to do it like the right click way, so I rolled a 14 and a 13, so it doesn't show on both, but there's a 20, dirty 20 hit. A dirty 20 does hit. Seven points of damage. All right. Anything else for Sister Garel? That shall be it. Okay. Dead zombie. Lunk. All right. Um, this guy behind me. Um, I will swing. Okay. 
Um, do I have advantage on him? Is that what that symbol is? Or That is Bane. So any attack uh, rolls against you has a negative D4. Okay, okay. So just a regular 19 to hit. Hits. Noise. Uh, 13 damage. Big hit. Okay. Anything else for you, Lunk? Um, no, if you still stand in, actually, I will kind of just boop, boop. Okay. And that will end my turn, if you see what I'm going for. I do, yes. All right. Doing another Congo line. Well, it is... Now this zombie's turn to retaliate against you. And that is going to be an 11, which does not hit, but I just, or total 14 does not hit, but with the negative D4, it is a 12. Oh, nope. Okay. Verdane. Verdane's getting kind of tired now. The swings are going to be a lot more blunt but I'm still swinging with this zombie right next to me that hits okay. nothing but bangers from Berdane tonight max damage 18 <laughs> nice. does All it right. kill I would hope it would alright so that was 18 points of damage, right? Yes, sir. So, 23 is the DC. <laughs> okay, so, you bring your uh, sword, uh, your great sword, across, and it severs the uh, zombie in half. Uh, and the top half uh, falls to the uh, square uh, next to you, or next to it. Um, however, it's still moving, and it's oh, still bro. crawling <laughs> at you. It's like one of those Diablo like crawlers. You kill it, and it just like breaks in half, and then it crawls at you. Is it considered prone? Yes. Bro, save the crawler. <laughs> <laughs> save the crawler for last. Uh. Oh god. Oh, uh, those are the old days. Uh, Valera is going to attempt to cast Hideous Laughter at this one here. Alright. And I then. Thought of a laughing zombie. Uh, wisdom save that's 2 the DC is 14 it fails or it no it succeeds so it is n not laughing at Valera's attempt at calling it stinky uh, however the zombie right in f nope that's 3 point or that's Pathfinder not 5th edition and conga line Storm. Um, We've got Storm a line gonna, of people. Holy shit. Storm's going to step up here and try to take a poke with her rapier. Okay. That's a nat one. Storm's not doing shit this turn. It goes uh, right through uh, some of the open space in its uh, abdomen. Uh, She's distracted. She's like, why are you... Why? <laughs> or, <laughs> Wait, is oh, no. Valera laughing? Yes. Oh. <laughs> She's distracted by Valera laughing. <laughs> <laughs> and Valera gets uh, a critical strike against her. So that is a meaty claw going against her. And Nidus. Wow, 
Oh, you're getting flanked. I, sh I should fix that. 15, 20. Twenty-five. I'm gonna shoot this zombie in the back of the head. Okay. Name nice. Like Point blank execution style. Um, <laughs> uh, Abraham Lincoln actually had his. He was actually hammered in the ass so hard that he died. Of being hammered in the ass. Uh, oh. twenty-five hits. Historically proven with science. So, as you blow the cranium off of this creature, so let's see, 13 DC <laughs> is... Nice. It slumps to, or uh, it looks, as you blow its head off, um, its uh, torso and shoulders are try, uh, trying its best to stay up before it just finally slumps. Oof. Murdered. Uh, this zombie will take a swipe at Gorel, being flanked. That's advantage. Damn, I saved Lank. Lank, I should have saved the woman first. Uh, Damn it. Seven, <laughs> to, <laughs> 17 to hit. I mean, Lank is pretty handsome, but. Mm, you don't need my help. <laughs> 17 to hit Gorel. Yeah, that hits. All right, three damage. That zombie, who is now clawing at the feet of Burdane, is going to attempt to claw at the feet of Burdane with a. Oh shit! I gotta get rid of this die. That is going to be. 12 points of damage as it takes its claw and sinks it into you, uh, your foot. Ooh. Fuck you. Tender, tender, birdane foot. Leading us to Gorel. Alright. Um, I'm gonna swing again. One on the right. One on the right? Okay. Yeah. Nothing all game. Twenty three hits. It's better. All right. <coughs> that will be my turn. Lunk. All right. That guy gone. Um, this guy that just hit our sister Gorel friend. I'm a swinging. Okay. Flank that hoe. Eleven. Oh, that's right. I I didn't see the zombie on the other side. That one is flanked. Uh, Fourteen to hit. Either way, it would hit. No, <laughs> they do not. They're not very. Armored. Fair enough. And only 10 damage. Okay. Anything else for you, sir? Um, I think I'm gonna stay here for a turn or two. Make sure Gorel doesn't, you know, kick the bucket. Okay. Verdain. I'm gonna try and thrust my great sword between this crawler's shoulders and his head. Okay. Twenty-seven hits. <laughs> uh, it is prone, so you do have advantage. Oh, cool. Let's do that again. Perfect. <laughs> what? Is that like your fifth natural twenty tonight? Can we okay. get a, can we get a count? A lot. Cursed sword is great, isn't it? Pretty great. <laughs> so let me roll damage again. And that is enough to end it. 
No chance of it being revived. <sighs> this could be too much. Anything else, Bernane? I'm going to try and stumble my way uh, out of the difficult terrain. Is this spot also kind of as difficult? No. Okay. So that's 10 and 5. That's about all I can do. Just offer support. Okay. Valera. The. Do do do. Do 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 do. I just counted. That is literally your fifth natural 20 for this night. Nice. Seeing as all the targets... Feels good. It's gonna do... However, it's not as fun to imagine Verdain is a bleeding, hulking mass dragging this great sword around. <laughs> is he really hurt? I've been really hurt most of the night. <laughs> Well, I can't tell. You don't really describe it or RP it. I have no way to tell. I just take the hits. All right. So. That's one success, one fail. And meets it, beats it. So this one here is now baned. Ooh. And I believe Yep. That's it. Let's see. Let me make doubly sure. Wow, I forget that I'm a or I'm playing a bard. Uh Bardic inspiration to uh Storm. Dane, have you used your bardic inspiration yet? Mm -mm. What? I don't think have he... you used your bardic inspiration yet. Mm -hmm. It ran out. Yeah. Uh, oh, during our before the one hour. Mm. Not like you really needed him. Nah. Okay. Uh. Okay. One strike towards Lunk. Uh, Go for it. 16 to hit. Um, It would meet it, but I'm going to use my tail, and I'm going to hit at least a 1, so... Okay. I mean, I can roll it for shits and gigs, but... Yeah, roll it for shits and gigs. Alright. Yeah, definitely misses. <laughs> Storm. Can Bark Inspiration be used for healing? No. It is, uh... uh with, with ability with check, attack roll, or saving throw. Tasha's just extends that. Uh, if you wanted to play that, Kyle. Okay. What is Tasha's extension? You can use it for damage and healing as well. It basically makes it pretty much any roll that you could possibly roll on, you could use it for. Uh, uh, well, I don't <laughs> think she has chosen Tosh's Bardic Inspiration. I think it's just regular. It's just a, yeah, it's just like an optional um... Yeah, I know depending on the thing, eventually, um, like one of my bards, he had a feat where, um, you could apply your, um, Bardic Inspiration towards, uh, damage, but I think healing is also a separate thing itself. It just, it, it made it where people can actually use it, because a lot of people hold on to it too long and then never use it, and it just... Yeah, you, you know, I'll have a talk with Grave about it, um... Switching it to Tasha's, but yeah, go ahead. You can use it on healing if you want to. Oh, I can? Yeah. That changes everything. Um, I will step forward. We'll make that a uh, table rule that Bardic, or it's Tasha's Bardic Inspiration, so you guys can use it on healing and damage rolls and stuff like that, too. I will cast Cure Wounds on Burdane. Hmm. Hanging in there, buddy. 
I got some vacant eyes right now. Alright, so... <laughs> Ooh, almost max. So that's... what? How much is the Bark Inspiration? Just a d6? Yep. Until okay, max. almost max. Um, 16 points of healing. 16. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And uh, Storm is spent. All right. I assure you, it was well worth it. <laughs> uh, zombie is going to uh, take a swipe at Valera. That's going to be a dirty 20. Or another meaty hit. Nidus. I'm gonna do something shocking. Okay. I'm gonna shoot the uh shoot the zombie right in the middle to Bane. Okay. Nah, fuck that. I'll shoot the other one in front of Valera. I okay. am shocked. And slightly appalled. Eleven hits. Let's hope it does a better die for damage. Ooh, weak damage. Ten. Okay. So it gets its con save. Plus ten. Fifteen. It does not. So it does not get its und or it does not use its undead fortitude and drops dead. There you go, ladies. You're all nice and safe. <laughs> How I'm chivalrous. You still got that one behind you. It's going to be that that one's turn, and it's going to exchange its blows with Sister Garel. But it is Bane, so that is a 16 to hit, making it a 14 to hit. No, nope, that's this. All right. So Bane comes in handy. This one is Deddo, bringing us back to Sister Gorilla. All right, she will turn its attention. Call out for Temor's justice. What? <laughs> my dog is just staring at me. She's, Isn't she always? She's planning my demise. Yeah, always. Nine points of damage. Ooh. Nine points of damage to the one in front of you. No, to Burdane. Of course, the <laughs> one in front of me. All right. Well, Burdane, take nine points of damage. <laughs> you shouldn't have done that. That to Brutus. To the Zombo. Oh, okay. You weren't listening to me. Hey, I made that joke Saturday. You can't make it. That's literally why I made it. <laughs> what was? I missed the joke. And I guess it's not good enough to repeat. Okay, so no, 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 I get it. I get it, guys. No, don't worry about it. Okay. No, on no, don't on, worry about Saturday, it. on Saturday, Michael said at two Brutus when Lori attacked him or whatever, because uh, I think Eric misspoke or Lori I misspoke, misspoke. <laughs> and I just made the same comment. Got it. Is it still alive, Kyle? Yes. It was never alive. <laughs> Ah. It was a long time ago. How do you kill that which has no life? You take away its video games. <laughs> Seems like no more attendees for you, undead guy. <laughs> Anything no more else? No. Okay. Lunk, you have one in front or beside you and one behind you. Hmm. See, well, I know this one's hurting, and this one has just been cruising for a bruising, so let's balance out that damage a little bit. 
18 to hit. 18 hits. Ha ha ha. Ooh, only 9 damage. Okay. Darn. Anything else for you? Um. Is there possibly. No, never mind. I do not want to provoke. I will stay put. Really? She just huffed at me. Get tired of your shit, man. Lunk or Burdain, sorry. I'm gonna swing at the one that has Bane on it currently. <laughs> Lowest roll of the night. 14, 14 hits. Hit. Okay. Let's check that damage. 13 points of damage. Little foofers. 13 uh, against the Baned one. Okay. That works. What are you doing? What do you want? All right. So it is Baned. So 13 plus 5 is 18. Okay. It is dead. Perfect. Valera is going to uh, use her last first level spell to uh, cure wounds storm. Oh, uh, that is 11 points of healing. Thank you. Uh, zombie boy against Lunk does a 16 hit. Mm. No, it does not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Storm. Sounded like, sounded like Wubba. Is Wubba here? <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> we'll move up here next to Nidus and Toll. No, we're gonna sacred flame. Ooh, okay. That's a dexterity throw. That's a dexterity save. Okay. Uh, eight minus two. All right. Almost succeeded. That uh, is five radiant damage. Ooh, get radianced. How do you want to do this? Uh. <laughs> I guess Storm just uh, steps over, gives a huge sigh, and just uh, slashes with her arm. Well, with that final blast of radiant damage, that one zombie crumples to the floor, and you can see this almost spectral looking uh, figure escape from its mouth before it crumples to the floor dead. Fuck me. Can we not do that again? And... So we're, we're done now. Moving on, right? Actually, actually, uh, could we group all these bodies together? I, I need to do something to prevent them from coming back. Um, while they're doing that, can I examine the flaming skull? Storm hasn't seen anything like it before and she's intrigued. Well, it is in thousands of pieces right now because Nidus did blow it to oh. bits. Well, now that I have a second, can I think to myself about it? Sure. That would be a religion check. Um, After they're all grouped together, I want to do a stand pretty much in the middle of them on Word of Radiance. Them. They fail their check because they're... <sighs> That's a dead. natural one. I don't know jack shit about this thing. Yeah. Um... Well, I won't make you expend your uh, spell slot to do that, or your uh, channel divinity. Channel divinity, uh, but you do successfully pray to uh, Tamora, and you can see the land around uh, your feet slowly begin to, to uh, fan out and consecrate this little bit of area. And as you're going through this prayer, 
Um, who received the send the sending stone? Burdain? Uh, I believe so. Uh, I it was Burdain. You hear uh, a voice emit from your pocket. Hello, hello, are you there? But that not really like that. It's more like ah, oh. uh, data report. Are you guys alive back there? I'll pull out the stone. Barely. Have you, uh, found anything interesting? Lots of the dead. <laughs> Undead, I should say. Wait, what? Oh, uh, yeah. Ghouls, zombies. Floating, mm. flaming skulls. The lot. That's not good. Well. Wait, you knew? No. Didn't know that they were back there. Huh. You guys. You all went off in a direction that I have yet to explore. Surprise. Undead. Have you found anything else of inch? Like, it's just a lot of dead. Found a forge. Wait. Wait, can we all hear from the Sunday Stone or only Burdane? You can all hear it. Okay. He's on speakerphone. <laughs> Wait. He's on speaker stone. You should, you should have used the pun. Damn, speaker stone. I missed the opportunity. <laughs> Right. What Nida said, there's a large forge. Wait, a forge? Hmm. Seems to be run by water. There is a long pause before you get another message. Are you sure that this is a forge? Pretty damn sure. <laughs> Do we look stupid to you? I can't see a storm, so... I you beat me to it. Yes. Damn it. I think you found it. Forge of spells. Yeah. Did found this forge. Huh. I thought it'd be more mystical. What is that again? Well, it's basically what everybody was fighting over. Well, I almost died to find it, so I, do I get some sort of finder's fee? Uh, no. Awesome. I'm sure we'll be well compensated, but that does explain all the bodies. Hmm. Uh, Gundren, do you mind if we just, you know, take a quick eight-hour breather to, you know, recuperate? I don't dare venture that deep in the mine to stop you, but I will remind you that my one and only remaining brother might still be around, alive. Oh, all right then. All right. We'll just have to tough it out. I'm all out of spells, I'm afraid. This so, is when uh, Valera will openly object as well. She needs a break. I'll go if we must, but just know, uh, not a lot of healing from here on out. I'm pretty spent as well. I'll only take about four hours to recover. Fine. I still think a rest would be in order. I'm sorry, Gundren, but if we try to go further as is, we might all just die. And then there would be no hope for saving my brother. So, be as you must. Do you want us to return to you? I don't want you to be alone over there for eight hours, or uh, longer. If you wish, but I'm sure there's 
more strategic places for you to take shelter. There are, but perhaps you could uh, take your brother's body and uh, make your way out of the cave for now. It's up to you, Lot. And I, we head back, hold up in the booze room, sleep it off. Okay. Agreed. Agreed. Well, as the party uh, makes your way back down the hallway and back into the booze room, you set up a makeshift camp, lock the door behind you. Um, but before you make your way out, uh, you do find that uh, there is refined uh, ingots of uh, silver, gold, and platinum uh, sitting at the base of the forge. Can I slip right. some into my pouch, my bag? The okay. platinum weighs about 20 pounds, the gold about 25, the silver about 15. Never mind. I was just going to say look and carry it. Uh, there is a total of four silver, five gold, and th uh, two platinum, each weighing that amount. Um, and the value of solid ingots is unknown. Anybody writing this down? Well, I can I see not. the greedy looks in your eyes. And if you remember what I told you all when we first started working together, we don't take what's not ours. If we do right by Gundren, he'll compensate us appropriately. I feel like we've earned at least part of this. The job's not finished. We haven't earned shit. We found the stupid forge. Alright. Just gotta clear out the rest and find Numa. Are we just not even just like a single ingot. It could be cursed. He won't even miss it. He doesn't <laughs> even know it's here. It was surrounded by undead. And a flaming skull. Um, I don't think it's cursed. If you really want it, go for it. But I will judge you. All right, and I'll take a silver ingot. Right. Thief's a thief. Stop thieving! It doesn't belong to anybody, except me now. The thief. Lung, did you want a thief as well? Hmm. We've earned this. Not if, if I'm repeating myself. So. If it is rock man's, then Lunk would feel bad. It's not his, though. He owns the mine. Rock man owns tunnel. Stuff in tunnel, rock man's. It's his property. Despite whether or not he knows it's here, it is his. But take it if you want. She... arguing morality with a pirate. What's that Ooh. supposed to mean? It's pretty cut and dry. I'm not a man of subtlety. No, you formed your opinion of me a long time ago. That would be correct. So, about that rest... Well... Who's right. Let's see. I'm trying to find more information. Could we possibly do it later? Yes, we could. We definitely could. Okay. So that would be a good spot for us to uh, end the session if you guys want to move your tokens back to the uh, little... Uh, the storage room. How much did the silver ingot weigh again? Fifteen pounds. 
further away than I thought. Oh, yeah. Well, oh. I have to be up in about five hours, so. Same. Experience. Experience. No experience. <gasps> fair. That's fair. Your your experience is that you you fought some hard battles and you. You're There's like twenty you. zombies. You get like what five experience? <laughs> I mean. Well, this experience this is going to be the same you, way the fun that. You, fun you had along the way. Um, this is going to be handled the same way that I handled uh, Cragmaw Castle, where you'll get the one giant lump of experience at the end of the ca uh, campaign. <laughs> Congratulations, guys. You're leveling up. You're also, level five, campaign but over. we're done, so... I mean, actually, that's exactly how this book is written. It's like, congratulations, you beat the boss. Oh, by the way, you hit level five. Bam, <laughs> bam, 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 bam. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Well, when I played this, we went from this into Curse of Strahd, and the way that she connected the the two after this whole thing happened, we get like transported to Strahd, and I had like a shield on order. I didn't get to say goodbye to people. Like it was just like boom right into Strahd, and it was sad. Mm -hmm. Oh. Never got to say. Goodbye to a goblin friend that we made on the way. Ugh. Well. Do we get to uh, take that long rest? Or do we need to wait until next week? That will be for next week on Lost Minds of Fandelver, episode 14. Uh, thank you for everyone for coming to see my wonderful companions uh, play Dungeons and Dragons. And, uh,. How many? How how long can you keep the finger guns going? Damn it! You stopped. I was I was hoping to do it the whole time you were doing your thing, but you stopped. Wait. Too long. <laughs> well, we will be back next week for another wonderful session, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. But good night, everybody. Goodbye now. But before Goodbye. he logs it off, Goodbye. don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you can get beautiful notifications every time we post our beautiful videos. You beautiful people. You're such a shill. You know, how does Mitchell do this better th better f than I do on my own channel? <laughs> I'll watch a lot of YouTube. Does. But... Because Mitchell sells his body. That's true. Good night, everyone.